you just see that? Did you just see Guys. That? Here's the thing. He's being right. ridiculous, and you know he's being petty. Get out of my face. Out of my car. This is my vehicle. It's and not the other your vehicle. It is. You it's should in listen. my name, Embryo. You should listen. Get it's out. a joint Get medical out. asset. Sir, like Guys. It's a joint Can we stop medical we're, asset. We're on, we're on the verge of like creating a situation we don't need to. So. Well, this is ridiculous. But whatever. Give myself back, Tess. Stop you taking my belongings. All of your you took all of my purses just now. These are joint marital no, assets. They're not. Okay. It's okay. The, an officer okay. just, he worked for the, the Go. you need Go. to understand Go. these are joint marriage You're doing it to punish me. You're doing it to sell them. You're doing all of that. These persons no. are not from you. Just the great ones from, you. from Lee. Thank some you. of them are from. Would you like to speak to a lawyer about what joint marital assets are? I have one on the Here, phone. It's okay. I have a lawyer. Thank you. I have one. I have one. I have one. Thank you. I have one. Thank you, sir. I, I tried. Yeah, I tried. Right. Sure. Right. I explained. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. The only thing that make her more upset. I don't care. I'll make it all again. Just ignore it. Yeah. He's, he's trying to get a rise right now. So, how much more stuff do you got that you want to take? I want to just get my bag and my box of laundry. Okay. Then if you do that, we'll wait. Okay. And load it up in the car as she continues to take him out of the house. Oh, well, breaking that. things down. Okay, this body cam footage is a doozy. It's from May 4th, 2023. It happened around 6.49 p.m. when two police officers showed up at the residence of Kim Zolziak and Croy Bierman. It was in reference to a domestic dispute. We might remember that Kim is a famous reality TV star and Croy is her ex-NFL football playing husband. They're going through a divorce. It's turning nasty, as you can see from the footage. TMZ obtained court documents that say this couple owes Simmons Bank around $226,000, and that's not the only institution where they owe money. If you watched the previous body cam video, you can check the link below. That was from May 2nd, 2023, where cops came out at night. So less than 48 hours later, two different cops are out at this home once again. The first one had four cops, now it's two different ones. If you want to watch it without commentary, you can watch it all over on my Patreon channel. I played it there straight through. It's three and a half hours long. I left all the cussing words in and everything and i thank you guys who went over there and signed up and watched it or purchased it to help defray the cost of these body cam videos which was more than 300 dollars i paid police initially they thought it was going to be close to 800 dollars, but i was praying i could pay it because boy talk about a reality show it's very sad but this is the YouTube friendly version you're watching now where I've added my commentary and I'm taking out the cussy words. All the ones I could find so I could stay on the good side of YouTube. I know people say YouTube is okay with certain things and I don't know how other channels get away with just playing straight body cam footage without commentary and few edits, but I know my personal experience with YouTube, that part hasn't worked, so this is how I'm doing it. I'm adding commentary. So if you want to go watch it over on Patreon too, that's fine. You can watch it straight through cop number one and cop number two's body cam footage back to back. I didn't put them side by side like I'm doing here. Here, you'll get a feel for what was happening at the same time. I only laid them out separately when the cops weren't in the same room together. So you can watch the whole thing over here if you prefer the way I've edited the video here or watch it on Patreon if you prefer to watch the whole entire thing straight back to back. Your choice. First off, we're about to listen to this 911 call that Kim makes in this exclusive plunder audio. Then after we listen to this 911 call, which is about 18 minutes long or so, then we'll delve into the body cam footage. Kim calls 911 because she says Croy is taking her stuff. You can hear his voice intermittently in there sometimes. She's claiming he's taking her purse and her jewelry and putting it wherever. So she needs help from the police. Kim is calling the dispatcher girl and ma'am and she's trying to relate to her. She even tells the dispatcher, thank you for sending me a cute cop. Once Kim sees the male officer approaching her residence, she's gonna have him come in the driveway. <laughs> she tells the dispatcher, thanks for sending me a cute one, and they have a good laugh over that. Kim even tells the female cop 
who arrives. She's in her 20s. Kim sounds like she's complimenting her backside and <laughs> asking her how old she is. The female cop gets a laugh out of that too. After all, we know Kim has probably spent many a day in Magic City down there. For those of us who are fans of Real Housewives of Atlanta and we know her history and background, Nine one one. Let's take us if you're emergency. This is Forsyth County with a transfer. She's on drive, ma'am. Go, ma'am. Go ahead. My husband is taking all of my handbags down. He's locked the safe. He's hiding all of my assets. We're going through a divorce. Ma'am, what's the address? He's and what's the phone number he's that you're calling from? And he's locking them up in the safe. I have no. Idea. He's just. I just found out he stole all my stuff. So, <laughs> sorry to bother you guys with this petty stuff, but it's getting bad. It's okay. been bad. All right, just one moment. Let me just update this information for our officers. He's physically, verbally abusive. You guys were here the other night. And then were any weapons involved? No. Does anyone have access to any weapons? Yes, he does, but they're locked up in the safe. This is plunder audio. This is and what weapons like does he have? I don't know. They're, they're guns in the safe, though. They're locked up in the safe. This is just insane. I, I don't know what you guys can even do. I hate the body with this. I'm so sorry. It's just getting crazy and out of hand. I understand. I want to get somebody out there for you to help you. This information is not so many officers down. They've already been dispatched. And so, where is okay, he now? So much. I have no idea because I went to go put the stuff in the car to get whatever I had left out of here. And he started grabbing stuff and said, it's community property. I emailed my lawyers. See what I can so, do. Is he there or did he leave? Yeah, he's here. No, he's here. Okay. He's here somewhere. He's, he's mentally ill, ma'am. So I need to get his description. Is he black, white, Indian, or Hispanic? Four, eight, six, three. What's he wearing? I have no idea. I don't even look on here. And how old is um, he? 38 or something, 37. And what's his name? Ma I suggest you leave. I suggest you leave. Nobody tells you. You lies, lies, lies. Good, lies, ma lies. Step away, ma'am. I'm not going to go on yeah. Uh huh. I, I can't punch him, ma'am. I have blonde nails. He's still so Can you separate He's yourself fine. from him? Yes, I am. Yep, I am right now, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are you or anyone else in danger right now? He's so crazy. I'm telling you, but no. I mean, he's just. <sighs> Officers are already on their way. Are any children present? Yes, there are, and I'm, that's what I'm very upset about. Why I haven't called you guys in the past? And how old are they? Nine, ten, and eleven. Plunder audio. And where are they? Football. Where are they? They're in the kitchen. I believe I'm afraid to leave my room because as soon as I left, he started grabbing all of my handbags and locking them up. He's taken everything from me, like everything. And I didn't know that he had taken all those and locked them up. Like I just, I can't believe this. This, 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 this sounds so ridiculous, and I'm so sorry. The I bothering have to apologize. Shit, this is crazy. Like you have, there's people dying in the world, and this guy's aggressive. Has anyone involved in using alcohol or drugs? No, I'm about to start drinking, drinking wine or something at this point. This is too much. This is too much. Now with a glass of wine. Exclusive plunder audio. Girl, I should have called you guys a thousand times before. I just, I just try to be too much protecting. It's killing me. I mixed my purple and yellow friend together. Oh my god, that's funny. I bet. The police are going to come here just because they have to do some paperwork. I mean, no big deal. It's okay. Don't, don't stress out. They're going to do some paperwork or whatever for the Range Rover. It's okay. I'm on the phone with them right now. Very nice lady. It's okay. Because I need to watch my stuff in here. I can't believe that this guy just literally, I don't know. I'm too trusted. Yeah, just keep yourself separated from them until the officers get there. I guess who has time to, like, you know. I can't even get suitcases out. He's not letting me have access to anything. And this is crazy. And when, when the officers get there, you know, just let them know you're trying to get your things and they can just stand by. I'm afraid to leave my room. Maybe the officers can come back to my room because if I leave, he's going to keep grabbing all my stuff that I was able to gather. I'll stay on the phone with you until they get there to let you know when it's okay to leave out of your room. Well, no, I'm saying because he'll come back here and grab what's left. Oh, okay, I understand. Just let the officers know that you want to get your things and you're afraid that he'll you know, try to take them. And they can just I stand by white for your thing. I'm very sorry about him. This I am. This is plunder audio. But yeah, like in the future, if you're trying to get your things, you can just give us a call. It's the 
keep the peace and we just kind of stand by. She's locked me out of everything. And then I came back and I found that all my very, very expensive handbags um, are gone. All of them. Oh, wow. Like all of them. I have like special ones that were like, but if this is just petty, I mean, it's just stuff, but like this is not how I operate. I mean, you've been together 13 years. This is not, this is insane. He's physically abusive, verbally abusive. It's too much, girl. It's too much, man. I know it gets kind of hard. I'm telling you, it's football. Being crazy or something doesn't make sense. Run the other way. But I threatened to call you guys for a year and a half, two years. He never did, so he. I just can't take it anymore. Everybody has their breaking point. I'm I'm broken, girl. I'm there. Sick of it. I can't take it. Can't protect him any longer. He needs help. Maybe this will be what it takes. I'm I'm shaking like a leaf, like a crazy person. I have to call my like she's like my mom just to tell him okay. <laughs> she's. He started grabbing all my bags and hiding them downstairs in the safe again or wherever he's putting them. He grabbed a ton of them. So that's why I called 911. I just told him he's abusive. I can't take it anymore. I know it seems like it's taken a while, but they're, they're on their way to get in there. It's taken cabinet. forever, but girl, I'm not in, like, in, this is crazy. I, mean, I, would just, I would just tell him everything when he comes. That, you know, he's taking the keys to the car. The car's not easy his name. He could always say Brielle is okay. But, you know, then <laughs> they can hear you. you know, they can hear you. He's taking the keys to the car. He's preventing me from leaving the past. Officers know this already. They they were here Friday night. He called because I, yeah. I'm, anyway. Okay. Just, just call. Yeah, definitely just let them know that because it may be different officers tonight than it was the previous time. And they may not be familiar. So I would just let them know that. Also. Um, I'm trying to take a deep breath. I am. I'm, I know. I know. I know. There's no reason. It's, it's, this is crazy. crazy to me. Like, I would never, like, this is crazy. Like, he's mentally ill for real. Like, this is nuts. He grabbed a ton of handbags. Like, at least, like, I mean, there's no how many he got. They're thrown in a, but I'm afraid to leave them so he can grab the rest of these. He took all the most expensive permits, all of them. He's just garbage, man. I don't know how he's considering this joint process. Maybe the officers know that when they get there that he took took them and he won't give them back. He, he, he yeah, them he up. took them and won't give them back. I'm waiting on my lawyer. She doesn't know that he's sick of this shit actually. Plunder audio. He call, yeah, he calls it community property. I don't know if they belonged to you before you got married. Some of them, yes. Many of them, yes. How they can be community They're not. Yeah. He's just he needs help. Or I was like, Mom, call the police. As you said, this is scary. Oh, my God, my sons are out there, though. I need to tell them, but I'm afraid to. I just was going to tell them that they're coming here to talk to me about the car. I don't want to. Kaya! Kaya! Come here, honey! No, I just told Kaya that they're coming here to talk to me about the car because I don't want her to get upset. So I need and to when, get to Cajun and cash. When they do get there, I'll let you know. Um, that way you can give, them, give, give your kids a head. Cajun and cash. They're talking about the car because I put my handbags in there. She gets to Cajun and cash. I don't want them to be scared. Kai, just go tell them, please, that they're coming to talk to me with the car. It's noisy. Kai, why are your handbags? This guy's... I think he's still willing to talk to you guys. He said I hit him in the head. <laughs> okay, I punched him. My nails are long as hell. I can't punch anybody, even if I wanted to, because trust me. That's I can't make they say things just to try to get you upset. It's probably just but to girl, kind of ignore them. I asked him nicely for my stuff back. I said, you took my handbags and give them back. And he said, absolutely not. It's community property. You know, I had half a different before I ever met this man. They can, get kind of petty. they can get kind of petty. It's so immature. It's like, this doesn't have to be like this. We have four kids. Like, this is crazy. I'm talking to the 911 operator. She's, I'm still on the phone with her. So I'm afraid to leave my closet, but I have a, I have a, a thing in the suitcase, a, a thing of purses in the trunk already that I'm sure he's taken. Are these police officers going to help me get my property? Yeah, I just have like this that. stuff is before him. 
Yeah, when they um, get there, just let them know that you're trying to get your your things, and they can kind of stand by while you do that. But I can't. He's locked them up, and I don't know where. I don't know. He won't open the safe. It has a key now instead of a code because he he took all the car, car, car keys from me. I'll let them know. They were doing a one wheel. They're just gonna see the car. Okay. But he's locked them all up. I can't get into the safe. I can't get my passport. I can't get anything. I can't even get into the cedar closet to get luggage. He's locked everything on me. And has the keys are nowhere to be found. He never thought I would do this. I've had enough. I let the officers know that you would need them to stand by while you get your things. Okay. I didn't realize he took one of the keys to my cars too. As my car took the key to that. So I hope the guy didn't take the bin out of the Trunkies garbage garbage, I swear to God. I can see where they are. I've had enough, man. Absolutely had enough. They should be there in a couple of minutes. Mm. Your your address is deep. I'll send the other gang there as fast as they can. Mm-hmm. Enough of this. This is crazy. It's like they're almost on that handy. So they're not there. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Mm-hmm. Down! 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 Stone, come. Come. Kyle, leave it alone. Come, Finn. Stone, come. Kennel up. Not enough. Kennel up. Kennel up, Finn. Good boy. This is my good boy. You're my best friend. You're my best friend, Finn. This is my best friend. I love you, buddy. What? 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 Yes. Because I need to get my purses and stuff and things with the car. They're just about on manor. They're just about you dad stole a lot of my purses. I won't give them back, so the police are going to get them back for me. Sorry, Cash. I can't lie to my kids, man. I don't operate like that. So this is terrible. I'm very bad in this. Well, sometimes being honest with them is the best thing. You'd be surprised no, but this, they, they don't need this shit. Like, this is crazy. Like this is just unnecessary bullshit. More than anything, I just want to see your mom happy. Okay, I mean, if you were going to help some other person... Okay, they're, they're on your street. It's just be a couple of minutes. Don't you use them to help hate them? Yes, can I do one? This is just part of me. So he needs to open the safe so I can get my belongings out of it. You can't take my stuff. That's, this is insane. <laughs> Ma'am, are you still with me? Yes, they're on here. They're on your street. They should be with you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> does he know that they're on their way? Yeah, he does. I showed him the phone. And he left. But he's still in the house. Mm-hmm. Somewhere. Okay. Do you know what room he's in? I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting a little camera here. He's probably stealing more stuff. You may be able to see the officer. They're pulling up right now. I'm going to open the gate for them. Okay. Hello? There we go. Let me look out my window. I don't see them anymore. I really can't believe this. This is just crazy. Are you able to go ahead and open the gate? Or do you need to? Oh, they're here. I see them. Okay. Yep, I got them. I'm, I'm opening right now. Okay. But I'm afraid to leave my closet because they'll take my stuff. So what can I do? Uh, I'll let me, I'll let them know. They can come in my driveway. Oh, my God, everybody's nosy, too. They need to pull in my driveway. Can they pull in my driveway? You want them to pull in the driveway? Yeah, yeah. You can pull in the driveway? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, he's so nice. My husband is so fast. I can't take it. Oh, just crazy. 
you know, your kids don't necessarily have to smoke. You can step outside and talk to him. I don't want to leave my closet, though, because I'm telling you, he's, I have a downstairs closet, so he takes it right out of here into my downstairs closet. And that's where he's gotten blocked, last 10, because I can't move fast enough, you know, trying to carry all this stuff out of here. So, uh, let's see, don't be alarmed. There's another officer pulling up now also. So there's okay. two officers out there. Okay. That is great. I'm just going to keep opening the gate. I don't know where they are. I don't know. I think some am playing and I'm not playing. I'm coming in. Put the dog somewhere else. He's coming. I'm not leaving my closet, so put the dog somewhere else. Is that your husband? I'm beef. Oh, we'll see what happens now. Oh, he's cute. A cute officer, thank you. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> I shut the door. Well, I'll let him out now. Sorry, sir. One second. I let the door out. He won't bite you. He looks at me, but he's not. Come on. Are you with the officer now, ma'am? But I don't want to leave. So he won't bite you. He won't bite you. Stone. Stone, come. Now. Cut it out. Are you with the officer? Yes, but I don't want to leave my closet because she'll go down to the downstairs closet and try to take more of my stuff. I understand. But um, listen, if the officer is there with you, I'm going to have to go ahead and disconnect. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I'm sorry to bother you guys. But in this body cam video, you'll see the couple arguing and fighting over material things. Kim is going to say they used to have to use a code to open the safe, but Croy changed it to a lock in the basement. She doesn't know where the key is. She thinks her purses, her passport and her purses and everything are in this safe that Croy won't let her inside of. Croy tells the cop, the male cop, that Kim actually assaulted him that day. And we will hear a recording that Croy made on his phone before the cops arrive of this assault, he claims, but he's not sure if he wants Kim to go to jail. He kind of waffles back and forth. He doesn't want her to get in trouble. Absolutely. to 1190. Be advised, she's requested us to pull past the gate into the driveway when you get here. It's okay, I'm not I'm not worried about the dogs. Hi. How are you, honey? Stop. 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 Now. Stop. 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 Stop.
Don't. Don't. Hey. I don't want to leave my phone. Don't. Don't worry. He's hiding. Don't. Get up. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. I'm sorry to bother you guys. This is cool. Not a problem, not a problem. My husband has stolen most of my handbags out of my closet. We're going through his room. Right, <laughs> right, right. And um, sure. I just realized he took all my expensive handbags, so I started to try to package up what I had left. Okay. And then he started grabbing me down to the closet. I can't get into the cedar closet to get any luggage. I can't get into my safe to get my passport. He's locked everything up and like just taken it all from me. Okay, and he's just refusing to give it back? Yeah, he's taken it. He said it's community property. He doesn't know that I've already hired a lawyer. He has no idea that he's being Well, there's some, yeah. I mean, he's correct about some just because it's um, some of those you know, persons marital those assets. I had before I was married. Right. Well, let's see. Um, I don't take any of his thing. That this is like petty as people are dying while we're dealing with it. So is, he, is he feeding the boys right now? He's so. making up Okay. He's mentally ill. If you guys were here the other night, you should have been called... A thousand times before, but I just I've had it like I've had it. So are you? I know you said you guys are going through no, divorce. Are you? No, it's okay. Hey, what's going on, bro? Okay, yeah. Um. He doesn't. Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, is there someone else we can talk to? Well, about? I want. I don't want to leave my closet because he just. Someone's knocking on the window. I don't know who's trying to get here. Are you good? Um, so, how many how many kids are there? I have four. Okay. Here. Three boys and a girl. Yeah, and there's okay. two older girls, 26 and 21. But they're not here right now. No, no, no. no. Okay. Like hey, Mr. Croy, how are you, sir? Nice to meet you, man. Thank you, James Spivey. Yep. Um, is there like I don't know if you want to talk yeah. right here. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, with the kids or whatever, he's good. I just have to check on my chicken strips here. That's it. Uh, or we can step out the front door, sure. whatever you like, yeah, whatever yeah, you like. Yeah, sure. uh, if you want to talk to Miss Kim, I'll talk to Croy for a second. Um, okay. I've tried to get out of here. I've tried to get out of here. You've stolen so much of my property. Where's a lot of money? I have a closet online that I sell my stuff on. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So is he claiming it's not yours or is he he's just taking, taking it? He's taking everything. He's, okay. Any property, he's taking everything. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So have you? These are um, mine. Like I've not. These are in half these handbags I had before I was ever married. They're old Chanel bags, collectors. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're trying to get them right now. Yeah, right now. Okay. Get them out of here. Okay, gotcha. Um, there should be a, a um, laundry basket in the trunk full of purses, but yeah, I found out he took okay. a key to that car, so he might have taken that out already. As I started to move, him, he started grabbing one going downstairs. Okay. And I haven't been out here before. Yeah. Is this something that's happened in the past? No. The, okay. The other night he called because I wouldn't let him get in the shower because I was sitting okay. in the bathroom. But um, he's like, for real, in real life, like mentally ill. Like, I think football yeah. really did something to his brain. It's just yeah. not me I married. For real. Gotcha. I'm sorry to hear that. It's terrible. It is. Yeah. So I just want to get my stuff. That's okay. It. I just want to get okay. my purses. I want to open up the safe so I can get my passport and get my purses out of there. Mm -hmm. um, I need my passport. You want to open that for me? I have jewelry in there. That's okay. fine. Got it. But okay. he changed the state. He locked me in the house one day and wouldn't let me leave. He took all the keys to the cars. And when he, when he went to go feed the dog, I ran down there and opened the safe because I knew we had an extra set of keys. And mm -hmm. I took off. Mm -hmm. And so now he, you have to have a key to open the safe. I can't get my luggage out. I can't okay. get anything out. So he's changed it from a lock thing or from a dial to mm -hmm. a key. And I don't have anything. He's taken it all. There's no keys to the closets or anything. Okay. okay. So I have access to none of my stuff. Okay. No, that's like my that's frustrating, no, for I, sure. I, I would nothing. be... Like, he's taking all of everything that I own, and he's yeah. taking it and hiding it. Yeah, I would be frustrated. That's... Yeah. Um, but I did... Okay. I did, um, I have an attorney, I did our attorney, so... He doesn't know so is this that. your stuff but as you're know. moving out, I'm no, guessing? No, no, this is just clothes that I'm here. Okay, gotcha. I just want my stuff. I just want my purses back. I want to put them in the car and get the hell out of here. He's dangerous. Okay. And just because I have to ask, did anything physical happen no. or any threats? Okay. Drugs? No threat. Oh, I that's what like I said. Drugs, I like drugs. Wait, maybe I need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sweating. I'm hot. I'm tired of this. This is crazy to me. Yeah. I've had enough, man. Like I just, I don't know why I trust this woman to do the right thing. Like this is unnecessary. So, but he's he's like a minute master manipulator. So he's she's a nice guy. It's just all bullshit. Yeah, and that makes it difficult with divorces. What is it? How does it, it feel? Long... Just getting my shit out of here. 
I don't know, you might I mean, we, we have to just touch base with the parties. Um, just anytime there's something that's like between a marriage, just to make sure there's nothing domestic happening. It's just something the state has us do. Um, and then, yes, as long as we're able to find a way for you to get into the safe, then you yeah, can just get it. Yeah, so we can, I'm, I'm sure he's asking him to like get the keys or, you know, get the safe open. Um, I, want my, I just want my belongings, my purses, my belongings, my passport. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know where else he's hiding his purses. Okay, have, so I they have, might not all be in the no, safe? Okay. No. no. Um, yeah, and, and sometimes, um, I think what Officer Spivey was getting at is sometimes it gets to like, there, sometimes it's clear whose is whose, other times it gets A to purse? be. Exactly, that's what I mean. But with other things, sometimes it gets civil where it, we have to have a civil lawyer involved. Just that way a we're not... The purse is mine. They're mine. Yeah. I had them before I was married. They're not his purses. I mean, for if other things get involved. Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah. Just like other belongings? Because then we're, we don't want to violate someone's rights and saying like, oh, they can take your... You know what I mean? It's just... Um, I, I, I mean, like, yeah, like, as far as other like, stuff. If it's like, yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Um, just so you know ahead of time, so it's not like a surprise. Um, I tried to grab laundry baskets because I can't get into my suitcases. So we mm -hmm. still have my purses up that he um, Yeah, it's messy. Oh, okay, my mom's like on the phone. Karen, are you there? Okay. Officer's cute. <laughs> I know you're yelling at me for saying she's yelling at me for saying the F word, but I'm just fired up like I'm shaking because it's just insane. He's violent, he's crazy. No, I know you're not yelling at me. I don't even know where my other phone is. She's saying, did you hear about the property? Like obviously of course it's mine. The happy friends are from Lee, the poor court. Literally it's Lee's happy. Yeah, she's what bag does he carry it? Like, my mom. <laughs> These are my bags. See, he's going to start showing his true colors because he's going to get loud. That's what he is. So. Hmm. 491. A purse is a purse. You will not, yeah. Like she said, like if it's a couch, right? Like, okay, it's marital, it's like marital assets. Like it's half his couch, half my couch. But a purse, he has tons of guns. Like tons mm -hmm. of guns. I would never, I could have. I just don't, that's not how I operate. This is not how I operate. This is insane for me. This is stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you're making this something right. that doesn't need to be. I know you guys are. I know you guys are probably going through divorce, whatever. Yes, that's what she was saying. Yes, sir. Um, been a fan of a long time, man. Thank just you. so you know, Thank yeah, you. for sure. Um, how can we help today? I know. I know she's saying that you're saying stuff's communal property, marital property, and that's true for it a few is. things. Mm -hmm. But if she can prove that some of the things were hers prior to, to yeah. okay, I'm not. I'm yeah. just. I know you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got. I know you I, know. I got a lawyer, and, and I, I know uh, you know. Um, yeah. But certain things and like that, documentation. And that's what the judge is going to handle, and, sure, and, sure, sure, sure. and all of that. So. And just like um, I guess it was, she said last night, it was civil as well. Uh, this was not civil. Okay. But I mean, according to what was reported to us yesterday, it was civil. as far as as the other night. That's what she told me. I wasn't here. Yes, the other yes okay, the other okay, night okay. was okay. just a verbal argument. Uh, she was uh, restricted from taking the shower and privacy, uh, and so uh, long story short, I'm dealing with, with a uh, compulsive behavioral addict uh, and uh, a narcissist to the extreme level. Uh, okay. So, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Especially with, with kids involved again. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, I, I am definitely operating within my legal rights, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and this will all be figured out with the judge. But uh, she was very upset. She noticed some things were missing uh, mm -hmm. uh, that she thinks are hers, but again, it's all communal property. And so she mm -hmm. came out enraged. And I tried to basically say you should educate yourself. I have it all on recording. Sure, sure, sure. I, 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 anytime I engage with her, it's I have it on recording. I'm sure you've had this. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, she she was mad enough to assault me today. So uh, today, today. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, and you have that on recording as well? Uh, yes, it's a verbal. I don't have anything in video. You don't have any video? Okay. I noticed you have them out here. You yeah, don't have don't, anything in the house? Run. Yeah, they don't. They're, they're not on. So. You don't yeah, have what They are all in the house, but yes, they, they are not on. <laughs> and she hasn't covered and it's, it's, it's a significant problem. Okay. Are you injured in any kind of way? Do you need um, medical okay. attention or anything um, like that? Um, so, so how did how did it become physical with her today? I know uh, I know how it started. Me, obviously, she saw me, so she had uh, she was taking some items to her car. Mm -hmm. uh, I then uh, grabbed a few of the items uh, as well to take downstairs mm -hmm. um, because uh, basically that's my only means of getting out of the prison that I'm in. Going downstairs? No, is um, utilizing. Liquidating that, liquidating items to gotcha. to cover my way out. Croy is claiming he's taking stuff because he needs assets. He's trying to liquidate these ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollar purses. He's trying to get himself out of the hell he's in. Meanwhile, the male cop is being very relational to each of them. He's he's great, this guy. He's really trying to calm the situation. He's telling Croy, look, my wife is into Jimmy Choo, red bottoms and all that stuff. I understand. What's happening is Croy has hired a lawyer. And so he needs money for a retainer. That's why he's trying to get stuff to liquidate. Croy is claiming that Kim punched him in the head, but again, he doesn't want her to go to jail. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and so uh, she was incredibly upset about that. And those are big ticket items. They're, they're ten, fifteen thousand dollar purses. Right. Um, Unfortunately, my wife is crazy. Yeah. Of, of, uh, she's uh, she's into Jimmy Choo, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so just, uh, so, so anyways, I, I had a couple in my hands and, and she's screaming at me and, and listen, if you'd like, uh, give me back my stuff. And I, she raises her fist to uh, do something. I said, you better not hit me. And she okay. did it again. I said, you better not hit me. And she punched me in the back of the head. So. Okay. In the back of the head? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any way that you'd like to deal with that? No, I don't want her to go away. Okay. That's okay. Well, I just, I just, I'm sure you I know how it works. In the state of Georgia, there's a Family Violence Act, you know, OCGA 1913-1. So in Georgia, um, if you are, let's say you're the victim of the crime, right? Okay. For domestic situations, because you guys live together, parents are the same spouse. I mean, parents are the same children, spouses, that sort of thing. Yeah. That makes Georgia, the state of Georgia, the victim in that case. So that it would mean that even if you didn't want to press charges, if we can determine a primary aggressor, then I would be required to take her to jail. Okay. So I, so it doesn't sound like we're rising to that level today. No, no we're not. Just based on what you're saying, yes, so sir. that's good. Yes, sir. Um, um, let me ask you this question. She's saying that she has certain documents in that safe, which is like her passport and stuff. Is that true? Because uh, anything that belongs to her personally like that, she's going to have to get those back. So if, she, sure, if you yeah. do have her passport, she it is might be in there, yeah. But communal it's, property, bags, that sort of thing, it, there's, there's, there's not much I can do. Uh, in there. Okay. So if you would. But what she's probably wanting is access to it so she can get her stuff back while. Well, no, she wants access to my things in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. She wants access to the things that belong to me. Well, that, that there's, there's a lot of guns in there that she yeah. thinks are worth a lot of money, okay. which they're not. Okay. Like, uh, and, and so, so if she, wants, she wants access to what's in and She doesn't need a passport. She's not going anywhere. She, well, I, I can't money to go anywhere. But, but yes, I can't I, say if you want to walk down there, I can. I can definitely yeah, and, open it and give that passport. To her and Mr. Bearman, I know you know this sure. already because I mean you guys are educated with lawyers, probably a lot more than I am. Sure. I, I worked for the district attorney's office for six years. Sure. I was a homicide investigator, but sure. you're probably more. Cause you guys do a lot more with it, but sure. um, if, if those are her personal identification stuff, you can't say. I'm gonna, cause she's not gonna go anywhere. It's her. She has to. She sure, has yeah. a right to so go. Let's go down there. So and if get you that. want to do that, sure, we can get under it together. And whatever you say that does belong to her, and you're sure. willing to give, yeah. I'll yeah. most sure. graciously accept okay, that from you. Go do that. Okay. If, if so they stay here. Yeah, of okay. course, of course. Yeah. Miss Kim, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to stay here for just a minute. He's agreed to take me down to his safe and uh, give me anything that he deems that is yours right now. Once I bring that up here, we can discuss what else is there, okay? Because certain He's things- He's hitting the rest of me just grab somewhere else because he didn't have time to get the key, but I also can't get into the no secret closet where my suitcases are and all my handbags are in there as well. I'm just yeah. trying to help out a little bit at a time. Okay, so let me see Let me see what he's willing well, to do. He's probably taking it somewhere else by now, but- No I'll worries. No worries. Thank you, ma'am. What's going on, guys? Yeah. 
Hurry up. Yeah. Oh, you got him out? Okay. Just Shut up. Here, you guys, uh, no. He's like, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll be right back up, okay? Okay. Oh, it's okay. And just so you know, between me and you, man, I do appreciate you doing this. Thank yes, you. Yes. Makes our lives a little bit easier. Yes. So let me let me ask you a question, though. And, and I'm not worried about the... We can't do this. She's... Um, okay. I'm, I'll work on that in just a minute. Is this, is this where we're going? So just so you know, I'm not worried about the guns in there or whatever. You know, I'm not freaking out about that. I know there's guns in there. That's fine. If you want to open it and you want to go in, um, I'll make sure that she's not going to come to it. And if she does come to it, I'll keep her back. Okay. Because this is you, right? This is yours? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, again, all of this is our property. As you can see, we have a mass. She sure. has a mass. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Right. Uh, this, this, this is what I'm dealing with. Um, and yeah. again, all of this is communal property. All of this was purchased with... Um, majority of actually my money that I worked very hard for so okay uh, let me ask you this question so what she's again what she's asking for is all community property and I don't have to open anything that's uh, correct that's and, correct and I'm, I'm simply protecting my assets what um, I know you're potentially going through divorce or potential are there plans to separate I know you said that's what you're doing liquidating something I, so I that you can make your move I, I don't have how long has this process been going on now, though? Did you find some sort of another part of this locker? I asked them to have them open it except where they are. Okay. Somewhere in this footage, by the time they're outside, Croy is explaining to the male cop that Kim has been in control a long time. After all, she is like seven years older than him. Maybe that's the dynamic of their relationship. He claims she's been in control of the money, in control of the travel and everything. And maybe this is him trying to stand up and take a measure of control back and Kim doesn't like it. Croy does mention that he has a lot of guns in the safe. I think he talks about suppressors. Croy is claiming Kim doesn't need her passport. She's not going anywhere, he said. But the cop explains, look, you know, while I can't say who owns what purse or shoes or whatever or what guns, I can tell you that Croy, you cannot keep her passport, her identification from her. So Croy does get her passport out of the safe. But let's not forget that according to page six, Kim has been playing coy when they asked whether or not she's dating Chet Hanks, who is Tom Hanks' son. So maybe there's a reason why Croy is trying to keep Kim's passport from her, which is wrong. He shouldn't do that. U.S. Weekly is claiming that Chet and Kim had formed a relationship or a friendship or something. They had a connection while they were filming season eight of the reality show, The Surreal Life. So I don't know who Kim's dating or Croy's dating, if anyone. Croy is going to claim he's been faithful to Kim, a stand-up husband, the whole marriage. So, uh, it, the, the <laughs> problem's been going on for pretty much our entire marriage, okay, but okay. it's got significantly worse. But I mean, as far as, right. So, so uh, basically the last two and a half years, she's um, uh, gambled away about $700,000. Okay. Uh, just in the last two and a half years. Uh, total okay. in the marriage, probably about $1.5 million. Okay. Um, and she does it online illegally. And so that's that's a major process that I'm dealing with with the, the process of the divorce. I, I just uh, retained a lawyer today. I have to go pay them tomorrow. Okay, um, that's, that was so more. she's going to be served within probably the next That week. was more of my yes. question, yeah, right yeah. there. Because I wanted to, to yeah. hone yeah. down, like, mm -hmm. how much longer you guys are being forced to be, like, here. Sure. You know I mean? The problem is that there are these are the assets. There are no assets to go to an apartment. Right, right, uh, she right. She right. has decimated everything. Are you guys um, separate at night in different rooms and that sort of thing uh, right she, now? She has or tried. Trying to so, so the narcissist <laughs> comes through and, and so she does things to try to get me to react. So she thought right. it would be cute to go hide in the house. I don't give a f I went to bed. Went to bed, had no issues. Right. That lasted for two nights. Then, then the night that you guys showed up here, she was, I'm not, you can't. please just get out, I want to shower and I want to go to bed, don't care where you go, don't care who you're talking to, don't care where you sleep. So she, she we sleep next to each other, our bed is, our bed is like a $15,000 bed, 
the okay. mattress that we lay on. Right. It's, it's it's for my body. For yeah, absolutely. Things and yeah. I, I, I'm not going to sleep on a couch. And absolutely not. I'm, Oh yeah. No problem. I don't engage with her. I don't. I don't. I do was, anything. I, I was injured her. in Iraq, and yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I got you. Oh no, appreciate it, brother. Yeah. I was just saying I could, I could sure. relate a little bit, yeah. not as much as you. you no, put some hits on some folks. No, hell no. I, I guess. If you wanna, um, if you yes, wanna I do just that. Need to get the key. I just need to make sure she has no idea. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll wait on you. Thank you. <clears throat> I won't actually be going in your safe with you. I'll just stand out here. Okay. But if there's anything that you think, based on your knowledge of what you talk with with your lawyer, that anything that belongs to her, specifically okay. her, okay. either a premarital asset or something that's personal to her, like her identification, her passport, or anything like that, if you'll bring that out, that would be great. Sure. I was thinking this was one that actually went in, went yeah, in sure, sure, bit, yeah, as big as it is. Yeah, that's what this is her passport. All right, um, thank you. I mean, the rest of it is just paperwork and my guns. Uh, okay. I don't think she's going to want those tapes. Uh, is, is she alleging that any of these guns actually belong to her prior uh, to no, her? No, hers is upstairs like in her safe. But, but, but all of every, she has never owned a gun. She bought, we, I bought her one gun uh, when we were married together. But hers is upstairs in a, in a closet safe. And you take a quick pass over just to make sure that this is the only thing that you think. It belongs to her. I mean, I'm. You know, that's up to you. I'm just yeah, I, I mean, there's no the driver's license, no, no bank information, no. Uh, no, I mean, we have we had joint bank accounts up until probably a month ago. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe two months ago. Actually, no. Back in December, she she got her own bank account and I got my own in February. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so everything is everything has been done with us. Okay. Absolutely everything. Um, but she can definitely have that passport. Okay. And, uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, this is um, just the passport. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay. something else that she knows is in here. I, I mean, that's the only thing I heard of right now. Obviously, she wants her bags, and she wants, um, yeah. I, I think the guns were just brought up because there's guns in the house, but not that there were any that were out. They were in the safe is what, you know, we were told. There, there is uh, two that are out there, the shotguns. So, um, yeah. We're not. To me, man, listen, it's Georgia. Everybody has a gun. Yeah. I, mean, I have a lot of guns myself. I have a pretty big safe myself. Sure. Um, and, you know, military guns and all that stuff because I was a scout and recon. Sure, so, sure. Um, I have a lot too. Yeah. I expect people to have guns, and as long as you're not making a vert of movements to try to get it or harm yeah, somebody, yeah, sure. I'm yeah. not worried about yeah, it. I've never been scared like that or yeah. anything. So, um, now as far as the handbags go, like that, that's mm. the thing that I know was brought up. You're saying that the handbags that you have mm -hmm. are handbags that have been purchased after the marriage. Correct. How long have you guys been married? Uh, Almost twelve. Uh, it will be twelve years. This twelve years. Okay. So okay, yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably going to be something that she'll have to deal with um, with her attorney, with your attorney. Mm -hmm. um, that's not something that I can force you to do. Sure. You obviously know yes. that. Okay. Sorry, I closed the door. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, and if that's not something you're willing to do on your own to make your life easier around here, you live here, I don't. Sure. Um, so, Unfortunately, I have to look out for myself and my kids. Okay. Uh, and so I have to protect certain assets to allow myself to get out of this situation. Okay. Because um, this is, as you can see, a terrible situation. Well, I'm not here. I can only imagine. Are you wanting to do some of that before we go back up? Okay. Yeah. Cool. How much money did Croy make in the NFL since money is at the heart of this case? According to OverTheCap.com, Croy's career earnings were nearly $15 million for the 6 foot 3 inch 225 pound man. And Croy, as we watch in these body cam videos, is going to talk about how a lot of his money purchased a lot of these things. But if you can remember from the video from May 2nd that we watched, Croy talked to one officer outside about moving from Montana to Atlanta in 2008. That's when he was drafted to the Falcons. But he mentioned how his mom and dad, Croy's mom and dad, were just frugal and kind of lived a simple life. But back to 2023, however, all these years later, you hate to see this couple, their marriage crumbling. Those of us who remember again that meet cute when they first met all those years ago. You really feel sorry for the couple when Croy starts going on about Kim's alleged deep gambling addiction and her obsession with all these material things. He's blaming her for their financial downfall. Just wait till you hear the numbers he claims she gambled away. Croy also calls himself the primary caretaker of their four children. And Kim is going on and on about Croy hasn't had a job in seven years. Well, Croy was cut from the Buffalo Bills in 2016, so that checks out. But it sounds to me, according to him, he's been busy raising the children. But I'm not sure how many nannies they have, if they have any. They're yelling, you'll hear someone yelling, get a job, and you'll hear Kim saying, I have a job. There's so much discord in this marriage. Croy is sadly saying he's the caretaker of these four minor children. And sadly, he claims that Kim doesn't care and that she's narcissistic. And he makes this motion against his face, like, like beautiful in sign language, but he goes like she just cares about the material things and the, the look of things. <laughs> Would you like to go back up that way just so we can see where they're at now? Or do you want to go back up this way? We can. Go I mean, I just want to make sure that we can see where they're at. Yeah. How do I get down to the Oh, go straight back. Hey, I'm just going to make sure he doesn't need anything. Can you take your down to your face again? Okay, thank you. To get to the same. Thank you so much. That is a big dog. Is he friendly? Or she? Um, he's 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 friendly. He's just um sometimes he just messes around and bites a little. Okay, it happens. <laughs> So are you guys are you guys in the process of getting rid of this one as well? Are you guys getting out of here? Is that what is going on? The house. Yeah. Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay. So so it's going to be. So what I'm what I'm saying is it's going to be an issue with who's going to retain the house later on as well too. That'll be something that comes up with the well, lawyers as well. Neither one of us are going to be able to because of oh. the situation she's put us in. Oh okay. Um, I'm but, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. I, I don't know sure, any of that. It's sure, about sure. business. Yeah, I don't yeah. keep up with tabloids sure. yeah, or anything no, no, like it's that. Okay. Either. And it's it really we we've, we've, we've done uh, our best to keep Hello? it and be quiet. Yeah. Nobody would know. Yeah, uh, it just okay. Uh, nobody would know, but it's it's. Uh, this is where they came down. That one? probably I would think so. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, well I fit. All right, you, you fit. I fit. Yeah. You fit. I fit. Yeah. It looks deceivingly small, bigger than I. Okay. Hey, you guys down here? 
Well, uh, if she's in there with the other officer, I'm, I'm going to have to go speak to her in just a minute anyway. So, or are you going to be just in there with the kids? I guess I'll speak to them over here. This just the boys outside? Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Crow. I'll be back in a minute, man. Miss Kim, you back here? Yes, I am. So, I have. Where's the other officer? She was looking for you. Oh, okay. He's hiding all my stuff. He just grabbed a bunch of purses, so I need that. I need my stuff. Yeah. Well, I have bad news for you for that. What? Unfortunately, because he's willing to give you the passport because he has to. Um, he's going to give you that, but the purses he's not willing to give to you. They're, they're not his. My personal belongings. No, I understand. I just personally can't prove that they're your personal you think belongings. You carries a purse? No, no. no. <laughs> what I'm they're saying. like worth over a hundred grand that he took. What I'm saying, how long have you guys been married, right? Twelve years. But how these purses are before him? No. Half these are collector bags before I him. So I, I need those back. I understand. What I'm saying is that may be something that you have to prove to your attorney to talk to I his attorney. I don't take pictures like he did. Like he's so sick. Because he's not willing to um, return them. Now, how are how many purses do you have left in here? Can, is there a way I that need, you can Can she watch the car and make sure he's not taking them? Or can you just stand he's, there? Yeah, he's not. He's in there with the boys. <laughs> Okay, I was looking for you guys. Thank you. Are, yeah, do you here, want... I mean, you're telling me he's taken as close to probably $180,000 worth of handbags. What I do you mean? Me, personally, I can't prove that that's not marital property that you guys had after the marriage. If you have receipts for that before that, then it's something that could be taken charges at a later oh, date. Come on. That's, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work with you. I'm just, not, I'm I'm just saying... I need to get into the safe. I need my jewelry out of the safe. I have every right to have access to the safe. That's marital property, correct? That is correct. So I need the key to the safe. I can't make him do that, though. If you want to call a locksmith to do that, that's up to you. You can certainly do that. That's the other officer. Hey. No, we came up the little side stairs that you um, came up. Uh, we're in Miss Kim's closet. Yeah, she wants us to um, stand by a little bit while she loads some stuff up so that he doesn't take it. So. Yeah. I'm saying it is marital like, property. But if he doesn't want to give me the key, like he doesn't want to give me the purse, that's okay? Unfortunately, yes, ma'am. That's the way the law reads. I apologize. I want to help you as much as I can. I promise you. Sir, are you being for real? I promise you. Ask her the same question while she wasn't here. It's the same. I promise my you. My jewelry's in there. That's mine. That's my jewelry in there. So why can't we open it so I can take my stuff out? I'm saying that we, as police officers, can't prove that that's your stuff. We know it's marital property. If you have receipts and you have that something that would come later was a civil issue. So basically she wants to load some stuff up so he can't take it from her anymore. He, she kind of wants us to stand by. <coughs> so, what's the issue, sir? No, I'm just having them clean up their area. Oh, okay. Yep. I didn't know if you had an issue with her loading things up. So here's the deal with that, as you probably obviously know. Because you guys are both saying they're marital properties, mm -hmm. she doesn't want you to get access to keep those things from her. Sure. And she, so she has the right to do that too. Sure. Yep. Um, she wants access to the safe. I can't make you do that. It is marital property. I will just say this though, just so we're saying it to you as well. Sure. If she hires a locksmith to. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a locksmith. He's on his way. Okay. If she does that, she's more than welcome to bust into that safe. That's where it's going to be like, now it's going to probably get physical. It's going to become an issue. Yeah. So if you can talk to your lawyer about that real quick, can get him I, on the phone. Uh, so I can't restrict somebody accessing my property. No, because this She's house, allowing it. this okay, everything sure. in this house, it's marital property. Sure, sure, Both sure. of you own it. Sure, sure. I can't prove that she owns sure, it sure. versus you own it. Sure, sure. Only you could do that. Sure, sure, sure. When it was purchased, whatever, but 12 years? I mean, I don't know how long you've had this house. Have you had it more than 12 years? Is this your house, her house? Is it your house? I mean, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That becomes this big civil nightmare, which is where attorneys love. Yeah. I can't prove it. Sure. So because you have taken, according to her, her purses and kept them from her, mm -hmm. she's now going to take everything she has in her car to get it away so that you can't do that any further. So yeah. she's requesting us to just stand by. So as of right now, that's really all we got. I mean, sure. so 
it's just going to become more of a nightmare for you guys if you don't get your attorney involved or find out. You know what I'm saying? Because. So if you're not wanting them to be your wanting to be. Did you see? Involved. So she's, she has every. So let's say I'm, I'm gonna try to explain it to you because I know you, sure. you're smart and you understand this. So let's say, let's say you did this. Let's say you said, you know what, Kim, you're not coming back. This is my house. You can't sure. come back. She can kick this door and break it in, bust the lock, whatever. And we wouldn't charge her with anything because this is her house too. So it'd be the same as that safe as well. Yeah. Destruction of property. Yeah, because it's, it's hers. Right. It's yours. It's both so, of yours. Well, yeah. But so at the end of the day, you both lose. Right. Right. Yeah. That's unfortunate. It is. So I mean, if you're willing to compromise with her to give her something so that she's I happy. I don't know what she wants out of it. I mean, if if you're willing to, that's up yeah, to you. Yeah, I don't. I, I in can order ask her to, what does she want out of it? I, I mean, well, I think she's. She said jewelry, but we can. Ask she did say jewelry too, but I don't know what's hers or what. No that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's going to become this, and then now and until so the firearms all this is my name. She can't take those, correct? Because they're in my name. I think not. I, I wouldn't. And there's suppressors in there that that, that have tax stamps to me. I I wouldn't I wouldn't say that she could or couldn't. I'm not sure. an attorney. Right. I'm just saying that she's authorized to do. Technically, probably everything in this house belongs to both of you. Sure. So if she wants to grab it and go, I can't stop her. Right. I can't. Sure. At a later date, if you can prove that that was your stuff and you have receipts that only you purchased it and you weren't married, because oh, yeah. well, if I bought new guns since being married last year, they're both of ours. Sure. But if I had those guns prior and I have receipts sure. that show that, that was my property, a yeah. premarital asset. I just was thinking you can't basically, because of, because of firearms registered under one person, uh, you're in possession of them. So if that car was registered to just her, uh, it's both your cars though. It's, it's kind of the same thing with that. So if that gun, even though the gun's registered to you, because technically in the state of Georgia, guns are not required to be registered. Sure, 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 yeah. You're only required to fill out the form to make sure you can own sure. a firearm. Yes, so yeah. um, you guys are about to enter into this very dangerous spot for both of you. Yeah. Because, and, I, and I, want to, I want to allow her to get whatever she wants to go, whatever, but I also want to take you guys both like away from the kids for a second and just kind of plead with you both about yeah. like I don't need I, you know what I'm saying yeah, it's, because as you can see <clears throat> we can all see all the kids outside I think so yes. because yeah, here's here's the thing that's going to happen and, and it's 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 like if you're reading a book and you were foreshadowing you know and you were hey I can just tell what's about to happen yeah. I've been doing this 16 years what's about to happen is you two there's a young boy can you go outside for me big guy <laughs> Let's, okay, let's do right. this. Oh, come on. Okay. <clears throat> She's on the phone with somebody, so. Yeah. Hey, Miss Kim. Yeah. May I know you're gonna load up, and we're gonna give you time to do that. We're gonna be here, but can we can we all talk for two seconds, please? Um. Yes. One second. I'm talking to the locksmith. No worries. I'm gonna slide this over just so I can get in. I was just trying to come back here so the kids wouldn't hear. That's why yeah, I was doing it. Okay. I don't you know. I've tried to give this to her a couple of times, so I don't. I'll set it down here in a minute. You got her passport. Yeah, he, okay. he gave her the passport back. <clears throat> Like my allergies are still like I'm, <clears throat> you know. I didn't verify that this was hers. I don't. Some people, some people find the love in those. Yeah. Cora, well, I appreciate you bearing with me, man. Thank you. Miss Kim, do you have a moment? I'm just like, well, he's wanting to talk a little bit, so I just want to see what we can work out. 
I already understand. Dealt with this game. I know. I understand. Can I just bring the rest of my purses to my car and I will take it? Absolutely. I'm just trying to have somewhere private while, while you're here. The 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 kids are outside, so I was just having a, trying to have a moment private to okay. talk with both of you. I'm what well, I'm saying I'll be here. We'll stay. Oh, so okay. so if we can if we can take a moment for a second, I'll be here. We'll stay here. Okay, give me one second. I'll drop this off and I will. Okay. Um, the kids are out front, just so you know. Yeah, they know. They know. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to, that you guys are going through this, man. I really am. I, I was married for 17 years before. I guess here's my concern. You guys can see I can I can document what you've said. I just there's no injuries. I can't. I wasn't here. I can document what you said, and I can tell you how to take out your own warrant for if you're wanting to do that for a simple battery FVA charge. Um, you you know your lawyer can probably instruct you a little better than I can. But for us, what we would tell somebody, and we'll get you some pamphlets and stuff so that you can do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. You ready? Just give me one second. Okay. Can I give this to you as well? Yes. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I apologize. Sorry. I thought you were still on the phone waiting. No. So I just wanted to take a moment. I know you guys have been through a lot. I know you're angry. I know you're upset. I know there's a lot of hurt. Hard. No, the rest of that stuff, like the rest of it's fine. You don't take it. No worries. If you just give me just a quick moment, mm -hmm. and then you guys can argue and do whatever you want to no, do you separately, it's fine. Stuff, so no worries. No worries. Here's the deal. I can't tell you that you can't break into that safe down there. I can't tell him that he can keep somebody from breaking in that safe. I can't tell you what to take out of there, what not to take. You guys have been married 12 years. There's marital property. I can't. Someone I cannot tell. To him, so I need those no worries. I cannot tell you what to take. But what I can tell you is about. You got that? 1190. Go ahead. Eleven ninety. We're so far. He's just speaking with the party right now. What I can tell you, what is about to happen, is that you guys are. You guys are about to embark down a road. That's me. That's the sergeant okay. checking because they were asking about where we, if we're okay, and we weren't answering. Oh. You guys are about to embark on this journey where it's about to be. He said, she said, you, you someone's no. gonna try. He's, she's, okay. he's gonna try to put you in jail. You're gonna try to put him in jail. You're gonna try. No, I wouldn't. Well, that's what's gonna happen. So if that locksmith shows up here and he's drilling that lock and he's he's breaking in there, he's not gonna want you to take stuff out of there. You're gonna want it to. So what's gonna happen? He's going to block. It's going to be physical. Someone's going to go to jail. Okay. So, as long as you stand here while I just get the rest of my stuff from down there and right here, then I can leave and there'll be no issues here. Okay. So I, I just wanted to take a moment to plead with you guys. I appreciate you. You have right children. It, talk to this mentally ill individual. Okay. Well, let's let's don't throw... Like, he's sitting here for a second, so let's don't... Let's try not to do it. You would too get $200,000 with the handbag in your I understand. Come on. I understand, but, you know... You, get me out of it. Get me out of it. Okay. Well, I just wanted to explain that to you so it, right that it doesn't right. happen. Please don't leave right there. Okay, I just no worries. Thank you. No worries. Thank you, Superman. Superman. Who's Superman? You? I'm, I'm just a... Yeah, man. Well, I mean, we deal with a lot of different people all over, and, you know, mm -hmm. to me, I never judge. I just can understand because I've personally been in a few situations myself, and um, I just try to remind people of the kids. Yeah, I really do. And I mean, you guys, unfortunately, you guys are public figures, and people would love to know. Oh, yeah. And as soon as something like that would happen, like I'm sure it would be front page and like or you know TMZ or something like that. Yeah, so uh, I just. There's, there's no. Uh, I am 
the sole caregiver of our children, so she doesn't care. It's all about self-centered person and narcissism. I'm, I'm thankful you tried, but you're, you won't get through that. Yeah. To me, I, I can at least say I went down that road, and you know, um, I'm happy to um, document any kind of report for you today or not. That's up to you. She's the one that called, so I'm going to ask her the same question as well. Uh, mm -hmm. If that's something y'all want to decide separately, or if that's something you want to deci decide together, yeah. um, I, I, I because I realize that both of you have careers and have. You're, you're famous, you're, so I realize that there are more repercussions behind a report than there would normally be for somebody else. So I just want to give you the opportunity. Okay, no worries. I mean, if you want one, you're entitled to it, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't deny you that. So, um, cool, okay. Um, did Sarge call you? Let me, he call, He tried to call when I was talking to them, oh, so, did. yeah. Can we figure out, she, she wants jewelry out of there? And can we show her there's no That's jewelry? That's what she told can we show her there's no I, jewelry? I worry that if you open it and show her something, that it's going to be a, give me this, give me that, and you're not going to want that. Hey, Sarge, I was in the middle of talking no. to them when they were, um, and you have your sorry. Um, no, she's not, she's not happy that I'm not making him give purses and jewelry back, but I tried to explain to her about, um, you know, marital property and stuff. So she said that she was going to have a um, locksmith en route to like pry open the lock, but I think she might have deterred from that. Um, and she's just getting what she can to load up. Uh, so we're just standing by with both of them. We're in the master bath closet area. Um, uh, no, I mean, um, He's a legend, a physical 86, but I'm still trying to figure out um, what he wants to do about it. And then I also want to figure out what she wants to do, too. So uh, we're just standing by while she loads stuff up because she said she's going to go away tonight. No, I mean, there's there's nothing that you can see, but he says he has a recording in his pocket of it, but there's no way to got physical with from the recording other than just yelling or anything so I explained to him how if he wanted to take out a warrant if he wanted to do that he could do that but um, I would document it for him if that's what he wanted yeah right 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 yeah man yes sir see it Show them who you really are. Should I play the recording? Same education. Tonight? You sure? Go ahead. I don't. I have nothing to hide. Oh, oh. I got nothing to hide. Huh? Hey guys. Yeah. Hey, this. This is not going to be productive for you guys. So it, like, it doesn't matter. So, Miss Kim, you say once you get your stuff, you're leaving for the night. Is what you're saying? I don't know if I'm leaving for the night. I have to go to my neighbors. And okay. Well, I here's. I just don't. Look, you guys, you guys are like famous, okay? You need to listen. These just, to just hear me out for a quick second. You need to listen. If you would just, if you would just, because here's the deal. You guys are upset, angry, I, and I know why. I get it. On both sides, I really do get it. I've been there. I was married for 17 years myself. I didn't have to deal with, but here's the thing. If any, Jim, you need to listen. I but here's the thing. If a report come out or any two of you went to jail or whatever, TMZ would be the first thing all over that. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't need that. Forget. So if you can do amicably, that would be great. But here's the deal. This is not if amicable. you come back tonight and you come with a locksmith or whatever, yes. call us back, okay? Because here's the deal. I can't say. If he wants to physically stand in front of that safe and say nobody's taking it, I can't make him move. I can't. So it's going to be an issue. But if you have a lawyer and he has a lawyer, then that's where it gets solved peacefully. You just need to stop. So, this is ridiculous. But whatever. Give myself back, Tess. Stop you taking my belongings. You all of your you belongings. You took all of my purses Jim, just these now. Are joint marital assets. They're not. They're not. Okay. It's okay. An officer okay. just, he worked for no. the, the, 
Go. You need Go. to understand Go. these are joint marriage You're doing it to punish me. You're doing it to sell them. You're doing all of it. These At, persons no. are not from you. Just the great ones from, you. from Lee. Some of them are from... Miss Kim, it's okay. It, we're not we're not concerned about that. If, unless you're alleging that there was a crime that was committed, then that's not concerning us now. And I understand. No, I get it. I do. I understand. I just want to be here to help you get your stuff. You understand something that literally in real life, that if you take somebody's belongings, like some of these are sentimental to me and very expensive, and they're from prior to him, like you said with the receipt. Why are you taking my purses? You're doing it to be petty. Like, that's what he's doing. And you know that, and I know that. Well, I can't. It's yeah. not worth that. Like, it's not worth it. You can keep them all. Keep it all. Just keep it. Whatever. Well, for, for whatever reason, he's he is so choosing to do it. that. So at least you know. At least you know what you need to do to protect the rest of the things that you say. Well, I appreciate you guys being civil with us. <laughs> I thought you were talking to Croy. I thought that was like a nickname. <laughs> well, he's he's a big dude. That's true. Big and stupid. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like to speak to a lawyer about what joint marital assets are? I have one on the phone. It's okay. I have a lawyer. Thank you. I have one. I have one. I have one. Thank you. I have one. Thank you, sir. I, I tried. Yeah, I tried. Right. Sure. Right. I explained. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. The only thing that make her more upset. It, listen, if she grabs whatever she grabs and she goes away and she calms down for a little bit, maybe it'll be different when she comes back. Maybe it won't. Yeah. But if you need us, you can call too. So I'm not saying that you do need us or don't. But when we come out, if there's not a crime that's alleged, we don't always type reports. We just put little notes in there. So nobody really has access to that unless they know about it, right? So, well. I'm sorry, guys. I appreciate you. No, that. man. Hey, this is what we do. Listen, I'm here till 5 in the morning. Okay. Uh, it don't bother me at all. As long as there's no as long as there's no other calls, I'll be here. Like that's fine. I mean, I mean, I know you don't want to have us sitting in your house all night either, but you know, I have no idea what's about to take place. So uh, you're welcome to stay. I get your coke. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to be like you, man. I'm trying to cut. I don't want to go into my cop body, you know. I'm trying to. My sleeves already ain't fitting like this, you know. Yeah. But uh, um, you know, as you get older, that's harder unless you're is. consistent. So. Yeah. Um, that's I'll be 46 in August. So I'm like, whew, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> um. Oh wow. I don't know why I was thinking you like 33, 34. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Not very long time, too. Sure. Um, if, I mean, it's up to you if you want to or not, but if you would give her her space while she's doing this, it might not be as bad. Sure. That's up to you, though. It's your house. I thought maybe we could, you know. Yeah. I don't know. She's in that space right now, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't push it any further. Sure. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Thank you guys for. No, thank you, man. I appreciate you allowing us into your home, man. Beautiful home. leave that closet she's kind of wanting us to okay. I'll stay in there if you want to hang out here with okay. her yeah of course you let him out too do you let him out too he, he might with the what kids was that a cane corso or Kane yeah they just turned two he's just a big oh my goodness yeah I have a service dog from the military as a boxer and uh, um, I say cane but um, they they had one of those too that was a service dog. It was fantastic. Yeah. So um, it's a big 
No, that's okay. I just yeah. didn't know how much more room you had. So, I, so let me tell you this too. If you need to call us back later on tonight, if you're going to do multiples, like that's fine. If you're needing to go, well, that's the, that's the unfortunate thing about it. I mean, I, unfortunately, that's the, good luck fighting my daughter, buddy. You are friendly. You need to call us back later on tonight. You look at the kids. Go get it. It's a horse right there. You literally gallop. It's so funny. Oh my goodness. The sad part is the kids are there in the midst of this madness where Troy is seemingly trying to talk to the kids in an upbeat manner, but Kim is really focused on, you know, filling up her car to the hilt with all these bags. The cop is trying to get the couple away and just away from the kids just so he can talk some sense into them. The cop had specifically at one point asked Kim to remain upstairs. But lo and behold, who sounds like they show up downstairs in the doorway? It sounds like Kim at one point. She knows the secret passageways in that huge house. It's 17,000 square feet and the cops walk all over it trying to find each other. It's huge. Croy said all of this was actually purchased with the majority of my money, which I worked hard for. He said I'm actually protecting my assets. I can believe that. NFL players tend to make a lot of money if he made nearly 15 million over his career. And if a lot of it went into, I don't know, this house or some of these purses, I understand his knee-jerk reaction. This is the part that tripped me out, though, when Croy said basically Kim has gambled away about $700,000. But in total and throughout the whole marriage, he's claiming probably closer to $1.5 million. So Croy had obtained a lawyer that day, and he needed to come up with money to pay that attorney. He was pointing around to clothes and all this stuff, and he's claiming he can't go to an apartment. Apartment. Later, they'll talk about the house and how neither one of them will probably be able to keep it. And he's right. I mean, they're trying to fight for it not to go into a foreclosure right now. A $6 million home. We'll see what happens with this gorgeous home. Croy explains to the cop that their bed alone is like $15,000. Some kind of special bed. And he's like, I'm not going to sleep on a couch. You know, his athletic body. But Kim complains about back pain too. At that point, on May 4th, 2023, Kim and Croy were sleeping in the same bed, according to Croy. But we know from recent updates that we talked about in the last video, the couple no longer sleep together in that same bed. Well, I don't know if they ever sneak around and you know, get it in in the same bed, but according to a court order, Croy got the master bedroom, so he's sleeping in his $15,000 bed. Kim was ordered to stay in the basement in the nanny suite beautiful area as you'll see in all this video. So Croy in the basement, he went off and got the key for the cop so he could unlock the safe. Eventually in his report, I remember the cop writing that he didn't see any purses in that safe and it doesn't look like it either. It almost looks like a refrigerator when you open it. I don't know what's in there. Croy does take out Kim's passport and he explains to the cop, unfortunately, I have to look out for, you know, my assets, my kids. He needs to protect his assets in that situation. And then Croy and the cop go back upstairs. Croy is whispering in this body cam video at certain points. He's speaking really lowly so Kim can't hear him. So I'm trying to boost different parts I can and maybe add just a little bit of lower thirds or captions where I can figure out what he's saying if it's an important moment. They walk past the basement gym and all that and the cop is trying to talk to Croy and they get along well. The cop is asking who's going to retain the house and at that point Croy and Kim were not in the process of getting rid of the house but now all these months later it's out of their control. And ironically, they walk past an area where you see several blonde and ombre long wigs and stuff. As they say this, and I just know they're worth so much money. I was looking it up on Kim's store, how much these wigs were going for. So anyone who's been a fan of the Housewives of Atlanta 
know that Kim has really stepped up her wig game since 2008. So they make it up the stairs. There's a spiral staircase. There's different ways to enter the basement and exit through different doors. They make it up the spiral staircase and you hear Kim's voice ringing out, all my purses. You really get a sense of the materialism involved in this case. And what's sad is the cops keep trying to tell them the same thing. Basically, this is a civil dispute. You know, the courts would have to figure this out. The cops can't sit there and act like a lawyer and say, you get this, you get that, or the cops can't act like judge and jury and tell them who's going to get what. But we do get a glimpse of that $15,000 bed when they make their way through the master bedroom. You can see a fireplace off to the side. You see lots of photos of Kim and Croy, mainly Kim, just these huge, gorgeous photos on the wall. The male cop eventually finds Kim in her closet. Oh my goodness, wall-to-wall -wall shoes, so much stuff. It really reminds me that money cannot buy happiness and whew, silver and gold I'd rather have God <laughs> and silver and gold <laughs> if I had to choose I'd rather have God be happy than have all this material stuff and just be so miserable but Kim is explaining that some bag is worth a hundred thousand dollars and she yells out that Lee gave her the gray one. So is she talking about Lee, the guy who was allegedly maybe her big papa, the secret married man who was kind of like her sugar daddy when Real Housewives first started? But next, Kim keeps upping the ante and she tells the cops, oh, Croy probably took $180,000 worth of purses. And then Kim starts talking to a locksmith on the phone about getting into the safe you know, if Croy won't open it for her. This cop is so great. The male cop, he's so patient. He talks about his 16 years worth of experience, his military experience, his injuries. He's the one that encourages them to let's get away from the kids and try and hash this out calmly and rationally. Kim, especially at first, seems so focused on getting all her purses down. She doesn't take her shoes, that I can tell, but getting these huge handbags down and stuffing her Land Rover full of them to the hilt. But the male cop is trying to relate and saying, look, I know I was married for 17 years to my ex-wife was a veterinarian. You know, now he's remarried, newly married to a wife of a year or two, a wife who loves her red bottoms. He's gonna get a smile out of Kim when he says that. Kim is using the cops as her personal bodyguard. Good thing I hope nothing else was going on in town. She's wanting them to guard her closet or guard the car, you know, guard my stuff so Croy can't take it. But that's where Croy is saying, look, I'm the sole caregiver of these children. She doesn't care. He calls her narcissistic, self-centered, and everything. And the cop talks about Kim being the one who called 911 in the first place. Now, it gets pretty heated at this point where not only is Croy eventually on the phone with a lawyer, but he starts filming. He's filming, you know, they talk about marital assets over and over again. Everything that's come into your possession, basically, during the time you're married, it's marital assets. So Croy starts filming Kim and he's getting in her face kind of. He's narrating it and everything, following her in the closet, following her outside, and it starts getting heated. He's close to her in her Range Rover, showing, filming everything. It's packed to the hilt with so many bags to probably the rooftop, the sunroof. I don't know how Kim could see out of the windows to even drive away. It was so full. But that's where a little physical contact came, as you saw in the beginning. I think Kim kind of pushes Croy away. The female cop says, look, stop. You know, you guys give each other some space. And the male cop also is saying, look, don't antagonize her. You can film us, of course, everything, but don't. And you can narrate, but don't antagonize. He's just insane. It's like, this enough to come to this, man. Like, like, this is unnecessary for real. Like, unnecessary. Like, it's just not necessary. The sad part about it all is that, but he's probably hurt in some kind of way, you know what I mean? That's how people react. Mm -hmm. I'm really like when I tell you, like, it makes me sad to say this, but, like, he's not right. I'm, I'm swearing my kids this is not the man that I married. And I, I don't, you probably don't know him because I don't know how old you are, but Shane Dronette was I'm a old. neighbor of mine. I'm um, 46 in August. Oh, you okay? Oh, thank you. Um, my neighbor Shane Dronette, he played for the Falcons for nine years. We lived in Sugarloaf together. Are they doing CTE stuff for him? Or um, no, he doesn't. Problem. My chiropractor was here who comes here every single week for 12 I love years. Chiropractor. He's the best in the country. He was here and I'm on the table and my husband's like, fuck it, babe. fuck you. Fuck. My, and my chiropractor's like, got his hands right here and he's like this. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, I wow. can't have anybody. I got to cancel piano. I got to cancel everybody from coming here because this is where he goes. 
Yeah, I, I, I believe in I was injured in Iraq in 2004 and 2005. I had spinal injuries, neck injuries, my arm was all the way through. Um, I believe in copper. There was nobody carry, like so. to find them. Like I had twins naturally, and did I they carried do this the, um, Did they do the Y axis adjustment when they yeah. pull your neck yeah. straight? Oh, he went to the Netherlands to study. He does all the Falcons, he does Raiders, he does all the NFL, mostly like people on the NFL teams, the NLP. Um, I have my people go to him, and now they all want him, and he's like, I can. So now I go to his office Monday, and he's telling me, time to get tears, and I said, Kim, I'm scared for you. And I said, I know, I know, but I am. I, 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 I kind of figured. Well, he doesn't know that. So, he told my daughter today, Do you want to see your mom? I think I filed a motion. She said, Yes, she did. She does. And he's like, I would never. And so he said, I would never. Yeah, but sometimes it's worse not to file for divorce or at least separate for a time being because, like, if you're here, it's just, this it gets. So, you wouldn't believe this done to me. He's taking all my car keys. Oh, the cop told me. Yeah, but this is, I don't, I don't operate like this. Man. I understand, but it becomes that way. Yeah. And especially if there's nowhere to go. If you're in the same house, you're not going anywhere, oh, he's not going go. anywhere. Her? Yeah. The car seat? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 The car seat is loading? I want it because, again, because of the kids. You've got to think. Sure. This is, they're not going to remember, they're not going to remember all the belongings or the house. They're going to remember what you did. I think legally you could. I'm just saying. Mm hmm Yep, you're welcome. So he, he's saying that he doesn't really have the means to go anywhere right now. So if you do, it might be helpful, but you're probably worried about all your stuff being left behind. The problem, if, especially if it's liquidating stuff, you need to get some people over here, hire some people, or get your stuff involved in if that's the case. I mean, I'm, you know I'm not a lawyer. I can't offer you legal advice. I'm just telling you. Come on, get out of here. All of it. Because if you're worried about it being liquidated or taken from yeah, you, yeah, he's already then taking it. Because if he allows it to be taken out of this house and he says that's like, then you know it's yours now because it's out of the house. So that car is in the. He took the other car key to the to the car out there. Like he's just sneaky. I don't have like if I spend as much time. If you got a job, how about that? If you got a job, he hasn't had one in seven years. Um, then maybe he wouldn't have so much time to sit here in my closet. Like get a job. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, but, it, it can become petty to where it's like he's taking stuff of yours and you're going I've to his closet taking take stuff. Yeah. I've never taken one so, thing. Look at his closet. I didn't thankful. take his guns. I didn't take anything. I can take all of it. That's not who I am. He's mad because I have the rings. Go ahead. Mm. And you should be. Okay. I, have, I have the best look. Well, I'm sure it goes deeper than what we're hearing about today, you know, obviously. But Sir, you I don't keep up with the tabloids, and I don't keep up with any of that stuff. Nobody knows so, about this, because I... Exactly so, right. I don't know. She has emptied shelves and purses. She's taken all my bags and stuff. And, uh, so... Yes, I have. She has taken yep. these... She's you, about to take these off-site. Here she get is, out. yep, combative, and just like how she loves to do. Yeah, please, all of these I don't care. I'll make it all again. Just ignore it. Yeah. All right. Thank he's, you. He's trying to get a rise right now. So, how much more stuff do you got that you want to take? I want to just get my bag and so, my boxes on. Okay. Then if you do that, we'll wait. Okay. And load it up in the car as she continues to take them out of the house. Oh, well, She's breaking that. things down. Oh, that drops. Showing her in about to intervene with him. So So, Mr. Corey, you can film me if too, if you like. Sure. Um, we sure. can't stop you from filming or anything sure. like that. What I would stop. ask of you, really film difficult. all you want to, sure. narrate your video all yes. you want to. Just try not to be provocative, like provoking of her, okay? Because like, 
I mean, your kids are right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. I know you're upset, man. I, I get oh, it. Okay. I'm really not. I just, it's just so sad. It's just a terrible it, it is sad. It is. Because, um, I mean, you guys have been together for a long time, and it's, I, I understand. Um, do you think that there's any any chance of you guys are ever like reconciling or like figuring well, it out? Or? She has to go to rehab. She, she, has, she has to go. She has uh, some significant issues. She has, uh, like I said, uh, two major compulsive behavioral addictions the gambling and the overspending, uh, probably alcohol abuse. And she has childhood trauma, PTSD, uh, narcissism. And some severe unresolved issues that 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 she is that something that you guys have went to together is you're saying no, knowing her that's so what we you're... tried to go to couples counseling and then what she did is, is use what he said and manipulate it and created false boundaries to continue the abuse right so right. she runs away to stonewall and avoid right. because she quote needs privacy because the counselor said that humans deserve privacy right so it's refusing to resolve problems trying to use it as an oh, agenda yeah, yeah, for what weaponizing right. everything and, and what what gets her to continue to have control uh, and she, she's had control over everything in the entire marriage from from i mean everything absolutely everything money and companies and what we do and how we do it and where we go and, and uh it's just textbook it's literal textbook and, and uh our older daughter. Have you fought back way. against that the entire time, or you just yeah, kind of well, recently have just said, you know, I've periodically had it. in the beginning, you know, and it was it was very minimal, but certain things happened that that she uh, got very upset about, did not handle it uh, appropriately. There was no infidelity or anything like that. I've, I've, I've been a, a, a stand up husband for, uh, in my opinion, for this entire marriage, and, and there's been times where I have reacted the wrong way to the abuse that I have received. That's part of the growth, sure. though. That's growth. Sure. And uh, so, but um, yeah, no, that that process has just, or that that problem has gotten worse, and 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 I think the the gambling has just melted it brain it's like it's gone it's, there's no has that been something that's gone on the whole time or is that a recent thing so well so it's 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 easy to or it's it's not easy but it's it's much more uh manageable when you have to go to a physical location to gamble right there's no casinos here in georgia you have to go to yeah, charity yeah, online uh, but, but online yeah. which is illegal yeah. but it's it's you got everything in my name okay. and my daughter's name okay. and he has the key the other key to it so okay. how does that work i don't know i'm gonna go talk to them and talk to and get fired up if you hear that conversation well or like you like we 1190 code four the minute she wakes up to the minute she goes to bed in the middle of the night it's it's I can't even imagine that, that how somebody can do that for that what kind of What kind of gambling Slots. is it? Slot machines. And she thinks that she knows... The push the button yeah. where no, it's like... Literally, she, on her phone, she'll push the button and the reels will spin on her phone. It's like a Yeah, screen. but it's like... You don't have a really probability of winning on that. No. The, the odds are low on that one because it's yeah. computer. Yeah, no, it's, it's not like luck or skill no. or anything. No, I know. Uh-uh. apologize. My allergies. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I would like my closet open downstairs, but I guess the lock is on its way up. Okay. Alright. Stand here all night. Let's do this. There's my first. Oh, that you stole. Oh, did you just see that? Guys. Here's the thing. He's All being right. ridiculous, and you know he's being petty. Right? Get out of my face. Out of my car. This is my vehicle, and you have the other vehicle. It is. It's listen. in my name, Embryo. You should listen. Get it's out. a joint Get medical out. asset. Sir, like Guys. This, it's a joint Can we medical asset. We're, we're, on, we're on the verge of, like, creating a situation we don't need to. Yeah. And if I had to arrest one of you right now in front of your kids, that would be the worst thing for me. Yeah. So, I'm asking you guys, stop provoking. I'm not. I'm not. Sure. You're, I, I don't think I am. I am calm. Well, you're you're Are bordering. You I'll be honest with you. Are you're you bordering. kidding me, dude? You're, you're bordering. Because I, I if you want to see what all she's taking, that's right. fine. I have every right to do what I'm You stole the stuff. I didn't take any of your stuff. You stole my stuff. 
I didn't take any of your is stuff. Is that the I last? Care. I'll make more of it. It's fine. Take it. Whatever. Kim, is that the last one right there? What uh, else you got? Looks like you don't care. Yeah, I just gotta get a water. Okay. And um. Yeah. Oh, there's more. There's more. Kim, just try to. I know he's trying to provoke you. I got it. Friend. You also got a wallet right there behind you. Or something. Oh, thank you. Here's the deal. I know he's trying to provoke you for some reason. Yeah. So, okay. But just keep in mind, the kids are watching too, okay? Uh, are they outside right there? They're all outside. I didn't see them all right. Outside. So, if you would, if you can, don't engage with him. Let him do what he's saying or whatever. And just get your stuff and, and let's go. If you need us later on tonight when you come back, give us a call. I'm very afraid what he's going to do when I'm calling. We'll be here. Huh? I'm very afraid what he's going to do when I'm calling too much stuff. Like, I think that's crazy. But... Well, Here's, here's what I would do if it were me. I'm not an attorney, I can't offer you legal advice, but if it were me, just like he's doing, when you come back, or now, right now. walk right now. around with your phone and like video. Do I have two phones? You know why? Because I can't call 911 because it takes my phone every time. Which the officer told me that when you do that's that, a that's a crime too. Crime. He told me that's yep. a crime, uh, whatever day. But we have to be able to prove it sometimes. He has to be able All to admit it. All the cameras are in my house, why? 55 cameras. He did say that. Yeah. Why? Why? You want to know why? You want me to tell you why? The real sure. reason why? I'm sure. Like, I'm not playing with you. I'm being serious. So, if you wanted to walk around and, and do that, don't get in his face. Don't do what don't, he's don't. doing. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it before it happens, well, I, I guess. I need to get a water real quick. And I'm just no get worries. And he's getting if you take a video of what's in your closet, yeah, that way you know what's there when you return. Uh, are your security cameras working? Okay. Okay. I was going to say if she comes back, I'd turn those on, but okay. Did she break them or? No. Uh, she requested that she uh, covered some of the towels and, and so, and uh, she has, okay. I mean, she could kick the door down to get to it and break things. Mm -hmm. They're uh, quite expensive, so okay. uh, it's not. Yeah, because if she comes back, you know, yeah. that way it's just more footage for you. Yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 This is yeah. awesome. Yeah, thank you. Lock it. If he's not lock. willing to, I mean, if you if you open it or bust it open, that's up to you. This is your property too. I can't say what is or what isn't. But if you want to hire people, yeah. so. I have to. Um, Let me see how this closet is. Unfortunately, you can't. I, I, I apologize. I didn't write the laws, I just know them. So you can you can also um, you can also hire 
security or off-duty police or that sort of thing oh, if you, you need what? while you're um, while you're moving. Yeah. Yeah. I, have, I, have, I put a chain on these doors so this is my nanny suite. Because for us, we're limited as far as time frames because we're the only like four officers in the city today. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it for that reason. I'm just saying it so that it puts it in your mind about what you need may need to do. Yeah, I, I understand all too well. I had to give my wife an entire room for her. You know what, at this point though? Like at this point, dude. Like this is stuff. You can't put a price on like a good human. Somebody that doesn't act like that. You might be able to on the red bottoms though. What? You might be able to on the red bottoms though. I'm, I'm sure my wife has an obsession with the red bottoms. But she owns a little boutique in Alpharetta called Wonderlust Boutique. And so she... Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I have a lot of stuff, as you can see. <laughs> Guess what? But I make, I, make, I make my own money. Right. So that's why. He doesn't want to get f***ed because he thinks I'm going to go get a new boyfriend. This is all awesome stuff, too. Did I film that? I haven't, I haven't watched anything or seen anything since... I just went back to Housewives this year. That's Tardy for the party. That's where yeah. I'm at. I'm still on that one. Yeah, so it's a public records request. I mean, they do like wear out faces and stuff, like depending on the situation. Um, but yeah, I'll give you my card and you can go to the website, make an open records request if you scan this. Um, crazy, and then nobody really knew because Chris is really quiet. Mm. Gorgeous, fucking girl. Like, God. Yeah. And she was really, and then we started finding out. Guess what he did? She said it was me or him and I had to pop on in the kitchen and she really loved Wow. Google it, Shane Dronette, D-R-O-N-E-T-T. So they didn't know what CTE was, it was 14 years ago. Yeah. So I call her crying, like, Chris, she's like, Kim, but I, I belong to like a women's group on um, Facebook and you have to be married to an NFL player. I think you are going to need the number for our notes from Officer Spivey. Okay. Yeah, so I can have him get that to you. So my, my lawyer would know how to do that too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you want them personally, then you can just scan that barcode with your phone. Yeah, I just yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. And sometimes they do, um, even for the civil stuff. The incident number is what I mean, right? The incident number, usually that's a report number. So if we don't write a report, which I, I don't know, um, then we have a notes number that's like for us, but then it attaches. Um, basically the call to our body cam footage if that makes sense sure. yeah so whatever number he gets you i had i had met takeo spikes yep. um back when he was in roswell yeah and we became we, we went to the same gym and stuff so i see him there and there and he had, he was asking me to buy his car he had his little mercedes and i was like oh, i can't afford that what are you talking about <laughs> um, north like, if you were a police officer you could that's true I mean, we, north in Connecticut. I lived in Connecticut. He started at 150. And it's this pretty is 20 years ago. It's pretty good here. It's not that, but it's pretty good here. I can't complain. I do well. Well, you should probably go do modeling or something else. How are we I'm never really. You want to go this way? Or you want to go that way? We can go the long way. Okay. 
There's other bags up there, though. We'll go this way, and then we'll go to the other way. This is so ridiculous. Um, yeah, you should do modeling or something for real. My best friend used to do that. He used to model for Abercrombie. Oh my god, remember that shit? <laughs> yep. This was early or late nineties, I think. But he played he played in the NFL too. He he went through with um, um the 07 draft with Ben Roethlisberger. Yep. Oh, wow. But he got he got injured, he blew his knee out. This is me in the closet that I have. Okay? This is all the stuff they do. They're all stuff themselves. Okay. Okay. No, that's pretty much it. He blew it out. He's a he's a cop and opera now. Good dude. Oh, he is? Yeah. Do you want me to open it? Unfortunately, that might have to be something that you guys work out during a civil agreement if you do get a divorce. Just because the ownership will have to be proved. Hi, Gil. Hi, Gil, sir. Here's what I'm, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't matter if it's your stuff, his stuff. I mean, as far as, obviously he's not wearing high heels. So that, I know what you're saying. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my business card and my email address is on here. Okay. And if you need any officers or anything like that, you Sergeant like Mulvey is the one who deals with it. So he can give you off-duty officers to sit here with you, or if you're good. moving. And then you just email them? Yeah. So what if he starts being crazy because he's fine like Well, mm -hmm. unfortunately, if there's a crime that's committed in our presence, he'll have to go to no, jail. No, I'm saying even if we're off-duty, I mean, off-duty, police officer. So, if we're off duty, we look just like this. So it's not really off duty. It's just they're not working, answering yeah, now on calls. So it, they'll minutes. still deal with it. They'll still write a report. Probably they'll still. I um, my daughter just moved out. Thank you. Um, and she's got off duty. They're um, his dad owns Zach. Zach, my son Zach. Mhm. Mm they just got divorced. Twenty-five years. Oh. Yeah, terrible. But, um, she's crazy, for oh, real. Yeah. But they have them all the time because they have so much ruling on them. She just moved out three weeks ago. She's like, Mom, she's the one somebody called me. She's like, Mom, Some of the people who, um, they own the jewelry stores and stuff too, they have off-duty police officers sitting in their driveway at home. And there was a couple other the, um, housewives that were in Roswell, I forget her name. The one where her husband went to jail for like fraud or something. Um, Portia, uh, no, um, no. Phaedra. Yes. Yeah. Um, she had to have for like almost two months. Officer sitting there, so they do that I a lot. Think about that. Mm -hmm. So Kim goes downstairs with the male cops. She's getting a whole bunch of bags down there off of high shelves. She starts talking. Some stuff is hard to hear when Kim is pretty far away from his body worn camera audio. She talks about being in a Facebook group, I believe, with NFL wives. She talks about Shane Dronet. He's a former NFL player who took his own life, I believe, due to CTE. It sounds sad. It sounds like she was talking about some beautiful couple, a wife, and the wife was like, it was either him or me. And I don't know if it's the same case. Let me know if you can hear better. Croy, meanwhile, is asking the lady cop about getting this self-same body cam video footage that you're watching here. And it's ironic as I heard the cops explain to them, yes, this is a matter of public record. Anyone can request this body cam footage. And they were really schooling Kim and she seems surprised. They seem like they were trying to work with the couple. Like, if you guys need to hire some off-duty cops, 
Look, we're here. We did it for another one of your Real Housewives of Atlanta alums, Phaedra Parks. Phaedra had actually hired off-duty cops to sit outside of her house for like two months when she was having problems with her ex, Apollo. Apollo went to prison, as the cop mentions. The cop says he went to prison for fraud. At first, Kim was thinking, who, Portia? And then she was like, oh no, Phaedra. So according to this cop, Apollo must have been causing problems. So Phaedra came up off of that lawyer money. Wasn't she a criminal defense attorney and she ran a funeral home? She had a billion jobs and her reality TV money. Apparently to hire two off-duty cops to sit outside her home so there would be no problems and it worked. So now Kim was considering the same thing, but I'm thinking, does she have the money to hire anyone? These cops, stood by and watched as Kim wanted them to for like more than an hour and a half. That's why the other video on Patreon is so long. It's like all this footage from each cop's body cam footage. I'm glad only two cops showed up. So when it was time for the female cop to stay with Kim, she got an earful about all the purses that Kim is claiming Croy took. Once again, just like in the previous video, Kim is intermittently on and off the phone with Karen, that 66 year old woman that she calls her mom. Now Kim did tell the cops that she's selling stuff through her online closet. So yeah, I did indeed find that beermanscloset.com. There's collections, there's Kim's closet, all the kids, Croy's closet, and it shows all these some really beautiful purses, wigs, clothes for sale, some of which have already sold for thousands of dollars. So boy, some are really gorgeous. I remember hearing about Kim's wigs going on sale, so maybe it was during this time. But this house is so huge, the female cop gets lost walking around the place, eventually hooks back up with the four and finds them, hooks back up with the other cop. So after the first argument between Kim and Croy in the bathroom, Croy has a little bit of a reprieve. He talks to the female cop about their dog, that cute cane corso, or do you say cane corso? They talked about that too. But it sounds like Croy is asking this cop for permission to start go unloading the Land Rover. Boy, this does remind me of, like one of the Plunder True Crime members said, the War of the Roses. So I'm calling it the War of the Beermans. But it reminds me of Lindsay and Robert Shiver too, playing, that's mine, no, that's mine. Can I do this? No, can I do that? With the cops. But she's telling him basically she's wise as well. In her youth, this cop is great. She's saying, look, this female cop is saying, look, the kids won't remember all this material stuff. They will remember how their dad acted. So that's when Croy started recording. He got permission to go in there to start recording Kim in the closet. And that's when things started getting a little heated and amped up. Eventually, Croy will play that audio recording for the female cop. And you can hear Croy yelling at Kim like, look, you just effing hit me. And you do sit here like a thud or a pound or something, but it's not a video. It's just an audio recording. You hear Kim saying, give me my stuff, give me my stuff. And ironically, there's 55 cameras in this household, but they're all turned off. And Croy is trying to explain to the female cop why they're turned off. Sounds like he says Kim puts towels or something over the cameras. It's hard to hear him. But ironically, when he's playing that audio recording for the female cop, Kim kind of overhears it from far away and she's like, is that my daughter? <laughs> she thinks her own voice is her daughter. There's a lot of calls being made. She is calling her daughter Brielle about, don't give him permission to take this Land Rover or what have you, it's in our name. I think they're about done. I don't know what the rate is, but yeah, Sergeant Mulvey. Too bad you don't have so to Here's the deal. If you if you send me an email, if there's something you need, hey, I'll be here this date and time, these hours, whatever you coordinate, any moving or whatever you're gonna do. If you send me an email, I'll forward it to Sergeant Mulvey and include him in the email. Say, hey, can you respond to Miss Kim? So I was worried about the call the other day. He called the police. 
because he heard me the night before on the phone telling my my mom. She's like, my mom, I said, dude, I can't take it anymore. She's like, I'm telling you, I'm not going to take it call the police. I'm dead serious. You're going to get really hurt. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was saying that, and he's, he's everywhere I go, he is. Like, he'll sit in that closet and duck down and hide and listen to me for hours. So I have to, like, walk around the house. Like, I'm, I'm always shaking because he's, he's really bad. Like, I can't even breathe. I can't breathe. Well, he's got the other key to my car. So now if, I can't leave If it, it were me, like I said, officers are really leery about offering advice, right? Because yeah, we're not lawyers, right? Yeah. You know that. But if it were me and I were in this situation. I'm sure taking his bag that I was going to take. But and I was in this situation because I was married for 17 years. My ex-wife is a veterinarian. I'm married again now. I've been married for a year. I've oh, been in good. this sort of situation before, right? Where you're in the house, you're upset, angry. Get the stuff, go. Separate. I mean, for the right amount of money, I can get about just anybody here, I think. And I'll just stand here in front of my car with all this shit and then have... Karen, are you there? Um, I was just going to ask you something else. So Karen, I didn't know you were there the whole time. Are you there? The locksmith is coming, but... Hello? Karen. Yeah, can you hear me now? Okay. I can hear you. Okay. Um, you might want to plan that out a little better. So he's leaving tomorrow to go to some right. therapist for that's one. what I mean. He, he's going mm -hmm. to fucking go because he doesn't think for one second that I have a lawyer or anything. He thinks I've done nothing. Um, but when he called the police on you guys, the reason why I haven't called is because I didn't want it to go public. I just didn't want to embarrass right. him. I, I wanted right. him to like, get help, whatever. Totally understandable. And so I, I have my mom, I have so many people, even his friends, tell me, Kim, I said, I know that they're worried. So. You still need the key for you out. No, I don't have the other set. Okay. Yeah. Karen. Hey, Can is you, he asking for him? No, I want the key. The car's in my name and my daughter's name. I'm going to give him a business card as well. Okay. Yeah, for the, the number. Okay. So. Yeah. I'll... Oh. Well, you can... Yeah. You, know the... you can give me mine, too. Okay. I, I didn't give her one of yours, he, he but... He did something on Monday. He took off on Monday, and he said he's making a financial decision, and that's where all those bags went. Well, okay. Um... Brielle, I have all my bags other than the ones that Corey has stolen, which are my most expensive ones, the video camera, the Henry's bags, all these expensive cases. So this is um, that VIN number, and then this is his case card, he, this is his call, so that's Office of Society. Okay, you want that one back? Sure, okay. thanks. Right. Do you have any other questions? Okay. Yeah, if she comes back, just, I mean, you can call us if you want us to keep the key. Um, as much as we can um, but yeah just be careful at this point of the process you know it gets sticky yeah yeah, yeah. sorry you're going through this mm -hmm. oh do you have the keys to her car she said she needed you don't have the keys to that car no. okay okay and I need the other set of keys for it. So please do not say, no, it's Croy has it, and I need you to say this car is mine and yours, it's not his, and I just need the other keys so I can, so I can the car. I only have the one set. So please do not answer the phone and say that he can have a fucking key if it's our car, not his. I cannot do this. He stole free all, all my video camera, my, my um, Hermes, my dice. So Kim, you're planning on leaving this here? No, and okay. Brielle. Okay, I'll tie back to you. I'm just letting you know that. I, I wouldn't do that either because no. if he, between me and you, if he comes out here and breaks this window in this car, there's not much we can do. It starts taking all this shit. There's not much we can do. Because he could say this is our property together. He's sick of Because oh my God, look, 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 we don't know it. right when this was purchased, who purchased it, whatever. It's in my, my name and my daughter. Do you, do you really? Well, yeah. I just think it's fucking In the here. state of Georgia, if you guys are married for 12 years, wherever that was, whatever, you're legally married here. It's marital property, unless you said you had this prior to coming into uh, marriage. The first, two of the persons that he took, I had before the marriage. Right, but we don't have documentation or receipts or anything like that that says you purchased that on your own. I can get it. I'll print it out on NeemanMarcus.com. <laughs> can, I can have them overnight need my stuff. I can do the, that. And that's why the lawyer's helpful, that because they'll demand it. They'll send a demand, and if it's not met, you know how that is, then he'll be held liable for that. And it'll be something that'll be added to. What lawyer gets on the phone and starts yelling, marital at like... I have a real you know, lawyer. I have a real lawyer. Hollywood lawyers, man. This I don't is know. not. I have a real law firm. Who's, they're amazing. <laughs> um, and I signed Tuesday. But then they just told me today that Fulton's so far behind. Um, yeah, but because of who you guys too. are, 
they'll they'll push well, I, so i was going to ask you this and if it's pushing if it's pressing somebody well, going to jail or somebody like you guys are at each other's throats or whatever i'm not i'm not well, i have to move all around the house and he's... sleep and hide and lock the doors and he busts them open he took a fucking and you don't want to feel like a prisoner in your own home i so. can't even breathe I can't even or that you're under surveillance constantly. I can't even talk on the phone. He listens to everything. He pumps flying out of fucking nowhere. Okay. I'm telling you, like he acts like he's this nice, he's a master manipulator. This is who he is as a person. But he's like sick. It's not who he wants. I'm telling you. But well, I'm gonna ask you about a, this on Friday or whatever. I don't even know what day it is. Here's the deal. Off. Send that email as soon as you can. I'm fucking gonna stand right here. And whatever. Do it. Whenever you know, whatever day you're gonna get movers or whoever you're gonna get to How come tomorrow here. Tomorrow morning. How can fast can we make it happen? I will send an email to Sergeant Mulvey. As soon as you send me an email about dates and times, what you see. need officers here, how many you need, uh, we'll put him on the phone. Karen. But ironically, it's, it's crazy. This isn't everything that happened on May 4th. This is the bulk of it. This is all the video from May 4th. But the shenanigans continue, believe it or not, because the cops tell them, look, if you need us to come back or anything, give us a call. Well, later that night into May 5th, both Croy and Kim are going to call the cops back and forth over credit card usage and all this other stuff. We will go over those phone calls in the next video because this video is long enough. I'm going to close it out here and let you watch all the rest of the body cam footage. But let's get a lesson from Proverbs 3116. She considers a field before she buys or accepts it, expanding her business prudently. With her profits, she plants fruitful vines in her vineyard. I love that Proverbs 31 wife wisdom and it makes me think about this case so much. I feel sorry for them both. Croy went for Kim and all her beauty and now he's complaining that's all she cares about is beauty. There's wealth and materialism. He had a lot of wealth. Apparently she did too. I'm sure Real Housewives of Atlanta was paying pretty good per episode and the height of fame. I don't know how much the other shows paid, but wow. Now it's like, look at them now. Watch the rest of this and uh, pray for this couple and especially for their children. And I really pray no one gets hurt. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where I plan to put all those 911 calls and then we'll have even more body cam footage coming in future videos. Take care. Hey Sarge, sorry to bother you on your off time, man. If you get this tonight and you can um, give me a call back, please do it, it's Spivey. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm out on an 86 call with um, Kim Zolziak Beerman and uh, Croy Beerman at their house in the manor. And um, she's wondering how soon uh, she can get an off duty officer or two to stand by with her, like maybe tomorrow morning if she's moving some stuff out because they're in the process of um, starting a divorce, I guess, and he's taking her stuff and his marital property and all that, so it's a, a civil nightmare. So uh, she's trying to get an off-duty officer at 2 in the morning. Um, so I just want to give you a call tonight instead of sending an email that you might not see till the morning. So just give me a call back when you can if you get this. Thank you. <clears throat> what, does he, what does he need? Mm -hmm. What does he want? He was playing uh, audio recording. 
obviously I couldn't see it, but it was him telling her to not hit him or to call the police and make some more commotion. So does he want a police report or something? Or he I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Lord. Apparently you go to the chiropractor too? Yeah. Uh, so she was telling me what, <laughs> what you were just saying about the audio recording and everything, right? Are you wanting to file a police report to charge her with a crime? Or do you just want me to type it in that event number that you can get access to? Because that is researchable. The difference is, if you get an actual report, somebody can get a copy of that. But this is an event number, which is the same thing, where I type notes about what was said, what was alleged, what was all this. You can get a copy of that, but it's not like a formal report that other people could get access to. So I just want to make sure I serve you as well as I'm trying to serve her because I'm not taking any sides here. This isn't my business, you know what I'm saying? Um, hmm? He's just playing more documentation. Hmm. Well, we, we document all our calls. So he's, I don't know if he wants a report or what. Um, I gave him the number for our notes. Oh, but that's different from a police report. I'm going to go get two more bags when you stand right here. I was going to play the recording so she can really see who he is. I'm just going to grab two more bags to stick in there and I'm done. And okay. I is it, are they in your closet? They're, they're on, yeah, they're in the bathroom. Okay. I can get it. I can All right. So I just don't know how you want to, do you see what I'm saying? Just think about it, let me know. You're a good dog, man. I almost thought there were two of them for a minute because he was so fast around the fence line. I was like, he was just over here. Okay, so uh, she plans on getting some things like she's been doing, leaving. I don't know if she's coming back tonight or not. I will tell you the same that I've been telling her. I know you're working with your attorney. I know she's talking to somebody. I don't know if it's an attorney or her friend or what. I don't know. But if you need us, call us. It doesn't always have to go with a report. It doesn't always have to be something that is like all over the news or something. If you need us, call us. Because we don't want you to be in a situation where she's alleging you did something to her, or she's alleging, or you are alleging that she did something to you. Dog. At the end of the day, you guys, the kids, are the only ones that are going to suffer. So, um, but it's clear that you guys, at least for now, need to separate for a little bit, just to. You know, I don't know if that'll help, but I, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't wish, know. I wish I had that option. But I, I have to. Uh, I can't let this little kid do it with my children, and uh, I can't go anywhere, and she refuses to go anywhere, and I have nowhere to go. And, uh, so okay. Yeah. It's just what are the um? Situation. What are the ages on the kids? Right, real, yeah, yeah. consecutive. So, uh, is it May? Yeah. Okay. 14 months apart, pretty much. But old enough to kind of care for themselves while you're here, too. That's yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Well, I wish you guys all luck, man. Thank you. Uh, I, just. I just wish it could be over tomorrow. Um,. Well, from what I'm gathering, I mean, at least what she says, um, she does too. But it sounds like she just wishes to, I don't know what to call it. I was going to say arguing or bickering, but I don't, I, I don't know that that's it. She just wishes that would go away. Other than that, I mean, that's what she said. Yeah. I'm just I'm just relaying <laughs> what was I'm not here, man. Yeah, I'm just yeah, relaying sure. what was yeah, said. So, so that's, that's an interesting uh, statement. Yeah. Um, she's, yeah. she's just saying that... Um, <laughs> Oh, God. I mean, 
Oh. Man. That's some serious uh right. some serious uh firepower. <laughs> Well, have you or her ever been arrested for anything like that? Like domestic or anything? Nothing? I, I hope to provide enough information that you sure. guys don't ever do that yeah. because yeah. it's like borderline, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I. I uh, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking she was almost finished, but I'm sure she's probably going to pilot to the rim. <laughs> yeah. Um, but did you get, did you, you gave him my business card too, right? Okay. You got my business card? Okay. If you need anything from us or whatever, um, and I was telling her too, which is the same as that I'll tell you because I was just thinking about it after handing the business card over. Um, I know you're saying that, um, you're mm -hmm. in a place to where you don't want to spend unnecessarily. Right. Right? Because you're liquidating things and you're trying to yes. overcome yes. what has happened. Yes. But if you need, we do, or anybody, the county, whatever, of Milton, whatever, we do, you can hire an off duty police officer to sit here with you to be to where there's not being alleged that a crime is being committed against you or whatever. Uh, the same as I would tell her, and if you move out, or if she moves out while you're moving, you can pay for an officer to be here. Okay. So, um, okay. that way, yeah. it doesn't become... Yeah. Well, um, do you know the hourlies on that, or the, or the days? I don't know, but sure. if you... Uh, I, I told her because she'd asked the same thing. Um, if if you send me an email on my card, james.spivey, it's on my card. Yep. Okay. If you're asking for a certain date for a certain time, I will I will forward your email. I will respond to you, and I will add the sergeant. And his name is Scott Mulvey. Okay. That's who I was trying to call. Okay. Uh, because I don't know hourlies, and sure. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. So, like I said, I've been doing this for 16 years, but I just started with this department in January. I just left the DA's office to come back home, closer to home, because I live in Cumming. Oh wow, good. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I don't want to misspeak, and I don't want sure, to tell sure. you false yeah, no, information. Yeah, thank you for thank you. So I, if you send that email, then I will forward it and respond and add him in so he can respond to you directly. Um, because that, in the past, certain people that I've come to know personally outside of their fame in Roswell, where I used to work, Takeo Spikes, Usher, T Pain, those sort of, you know, um, they have done. And matter of fact, um, one of the housewives that her husband went to jail for fraud or something like that. Um, not Portia, but Phaedra. Phaedra. Yeah. We were out in front of her house for like two months. So, yeah. because apparently he was coming back and like sure. causing problems, you know. So, she had somebody out there. And she didn't have a problem. Yeah. Then. So, uh, in the interest of all involved or whatever, if that's something you care to have or she cares to have, then it is something that they offer. So, you know, you can find out about it. Dude, you look like a, a gargoyle, man. <laughs> like, just... Yeah, he lives up to his name. Stone Statue. <laughs> What's his name, Stone? Stone. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, he has that good, like, uh, bluing, like, gray color. Mm -hmm. yeah. my, uh, my boxer has a short hair like this. It's Brindle. Oh, yeah. She's beautiful, but I think because she's about to turn 10, she started losing a little weight in here. I'm worried, like... Um, they say kidneys or like pancreas or something, yeah, yeah. pancreatic cancer. Sure. So, you're beautiful. You got all the energy too, huh? <laughs> For a little while, then, then I. He, he's dealing with the allergies too. It looks like. A little bit. His he eye. Cherry eye. Yeah. Uh, he's had surgery twice. He's got it a third time this coming week. To try to get it to go away. Real, oh wow. He just keeps coming back. My my ex-wife was a veterinarian, so that's why I like. Where did she come from? The back? Okay. I'm not sure, but we need to figure it out. Is she leaving? Is that what that is? All right. If um, we're going to find out if she's leaving or not, it looks like she is, and then I'll come back and speak with you again.
That's it for now. Because we'll have to pull up a little bit, yeah. obviously. Or yeah, no, it's okay. uh, you might um, be able to get through there, but. So why are you staying? Are you staying? Mm -mm. Oh. No, that way you can. Oh no. I just we out. have to make sure you're able to oh. leave. We say goodbye to him. He goes back inside, and then we leave. Um, so I was just saying, you know, like, you just go to this part of my closet, and, like, you just shoot at a lot of things. And that's why I was suggesting that you take those videos and everything, because you can show the state that it was left in when you left here. And that would be another civil ammunition for you, too. I don't have any pictures of my own. Like it's okay. I'm I mean, other bag still, if you're coming back tonight, tomorrow, whatever, I, I, I called Sergeant Mulvey. He didn't answer. He should call me back. Scott Mulvey, he's the supervisor in charge of everything around. I was going to ask you, this is what I've been meaning to ask you, so he called the police the other night because he couldn't shower. 11 bathrooms. Um, I was worried about getting out or whatever, but um, only if, and the cop was like, no, because there's no arrest. Is Did that, you, um... Is that right? Do you have that card with you that I gave you? I'm going to write down the event number on it because um, she wrote that down for us already. Can you write that down for us, mm -hmm. the event number? I got to check in my card. So, I'm not doing a report. That's what I was talking to him about, just letting him know that it's not like a report. It's an event number. Now, there are notes. I'm going to type notes on it, so you can get a copy of that if you, if you need it. I claim that he stole my bags. If that's what, yeah. Yeah, that's what he did. Mm -hmm. All my expenses. Um, but guess what? I and have. we're recording. We're recording. Okay. So, if you need that, it's it's uh, you can request that as well. So, like, when you go forward, if you're serving him, he's serving you, whoever's serving, whatever, when you get to that stage, you can get these two. It's crazy. Like, this is, like, just not necessary, man. I, I just don't understand this. Like, I'm still, like I said to me, like, I'm still the mother of your children. This is insane to me. I know. Like, you're still the mother of my kid. Like, I'm still the mother of your kids. You're still the father of my, like, this is unnecessary. Unfortunately, it just goes back to, like, petty, is hurt, that, like, you know, some kind of way. I mean, like, like, we can, I asked them, like, just, let's just do this easy. Like, let's just make it easy. Like, we can just be, oh, no, it's not going to be. Battle. What do you, what do you and that's an uh, event number. So it's not the report number. We're not, I don't think we're writing a oh, report. So it's an event number it's for our personal help. So if somebody gets arrested, the call goes like can't be get the call because nobody's arrested. They don't know that there was a call. Is that right? So we don't call anybody. Yeah. I just don't know. Sometimes there are lawyers that are just what's going on what's going on and they find out. I don't know how they find out. Maybe a neighbor says the police were there. Maybe something. I don't know. We don't do that. We're, we're here for public servants we don't yeah so um i was that's why i was trying to keep it just an event number because i don't know how that works i don't know if there's a report that comes out because anyone no, can walk into a police the, station and here, say you take care of the captain i'll call you back okay anyone can walk into the police station and say i want all the reports about kim and crow and they can get them because it's public it's public record they sure? have lawyers that do that I used to work for Roswell mm -hmm. and they put out shift reports and it would go to certain news medias. So we would have to like limit. That's why they got into that where they were doing an officer narrative and a public narrative. They were trying to keep things. But then they had a ruling on that they couldn't do it. It's all public information. We're public servants. This is public in I think she's about to leave. So do you want to call the dog in? I don't know if he'll stay on the property or what. So, but if you're not arrested, they don't know, I mean, generally. Right. Well, they can know that, I mean, who who doesn't have domestic disputes? Everybody. I mean, I mean shoot, I, I've been married, like, yeah. I'll probably go home and have one tonight. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, um. You won't get married again. Well, yeah, it's, I, I wish, I wish. If I had it, if I had it my way, and I could wave a magic wand for you guys, you get all your stuff. He gets his. Y'all are amicable. You go either. You go your separate way, or you, you reconcil like kind of reconciliation or something. Well, you know what? I hate to say it, but what does that say? He's either super in love with you, or he's crazy, like you're saying. But, like but you have to take some, like, no, he's still in love with you. No, that's why I felt bad. You know? I'm, I'm not a bad guy. I'm never a bad guy. I don't do this shit. I literally have my engagement and my 
like you got me here and you see my daughter on my feet, in my walk, 24 hours just over Please, that's what I can do because he'll rip my robe off and he'll fucking, I'm telling you, he's not, he's like lost, but he's been crazy for a while. So, it's only the last thing to do. Well, whenever you figure out your schedule, whenever you figure out what time you want to come do that, what time you're linking up with that locksmith, whatever, then um, well, send that email. No, but they can refuse to go in there if it's a hostile situation. Oh, no, they would ne- I, would, I would never have them here with anybody because okay. these things are so real. Like, so whenever you figure out the time frame, send an email. Like, if you can send me an email whenever you get to where you're going and you got time, send that email. Say, hey, I'm going to need somebody, whatever, whatever. I'm going to reply to that and so I'm going to add the sergeant in. What happens to the off-duty police officer, though? He gets- so just... So we, if we were off duty right now, we just wouldn't be answering 911 calls, but we look just like this. Okay. And we have the cars and we look just like this. And so you're able to arrest? Or correct, you? yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Absolutely, we'll type a report, arrest, whatever. Yeah, we're here to keep the peace. If it becomes physical and we observe it, we, we start hitting our body cam, we record that evidence, and you're going to jail or he's going to jail, somebody's going to jail. And then it's gonna be high and aggravated because it's children involved. They witnessed it, they heard it, so you got you got cruelty to children in the first, second, third degree. Like it's, he, it's a big deal. My kids are teenagers. Not sure. That's, so that's why I always leave. I'm always going to leave because I don't want. To, but I usually can't get out of here. So thank you for letting me get out. Well, as soon as you, as soon as you figure that out, send it to me because if it's going to be tomorrow, yep. Okay. 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 She said he was good. Do you need me to move my car? <laughs> Do you need? Do you need me to move my car? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, thank you. I'm in my 20s. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to move my car real quick so you can get out, okay? All right, no problem. Sarge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Miss Kim is loaded up. She's about to leave. I was just um, talking to Croy for a quick second. He had a couple questions. Um, and then we should be able to clear him just a few. I was trying to get both of them um, in touch with Sergeant Mulvey in case they needed like an off-duty officer um, if he's leaving or she's leaving or they're trying to um, separate or whatever they're doing. So. I was just giving them different information on different um, possible uh, solutions for them. All right, Sarge. Thanks, man. That's it. So, um, basically, what she was saying is if she hired officers like what we were talking about, are they able to um, arrest? Are they able to write reports? Are they, what are their limits? Sure. And I was said it would be just like we're here now. We would look just like this. We'd have the car. Be, it's just we're not answering 911 calls. Sure. Not answering calls for service. So it's the same. I want to explain that to you as well. Yeah. So if you do hire um, Milton Police or Fulton County Sheriff or Fulton County Marshal or whoever you want, if you want, I'm not saying, but um, I can only give you information about Milton. So that would be Sergeant Scott Mulvey. Sure. Um, so that way, if Sorry, your no, you're fine, brother. You're fine. You're fine. No, no disrespect at all, man. Thank you. Um, so that way, if you have interest to protect, or you have a reason to not be, you know what I'm saying? What if she says, "Well, I brought over a locksmith, and I was trying to get into the safe, and Croy physically pushed me, and he." Um, uh, threatened to um, harm the locksmith if he touched that safe or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now it's allegations and sure, like sure, we just don't sure. like so if we're standing here then we're like hey, mm-hmm. you know, hey I know you don't like it but yeah. so um, I'm gonna fix that problem and there won't be any reason for that to be an issue. Okay. She can take whatever she wants off this property once I get that out here in a second. Okay. Hey man. Thank you. Good luck sir. to you. Appreciate it. Yes sir brother man. Good to meet you. Yeah. Um I guess she didn't need that. She left it behind. Oh, that's so. a normal thing. When they clean up her. Um, 
we're out of here man like i said that that number right there if you need i am i am going to type minimally as possible okay you alleged one thing she alleged another thing about purses and jewelry sure you alleged that you were physically assaulted sure. i will document that what was said um body cams have been on the whole time the camera in the car is on the whole time that that uh is public information so your attorney you anybody can request that information so you can get a copy of that so if it becomes necessary later for the civil side of that yep it, if, if it goes there you know uh yeah you can see it's probably I, go there. well i you know i i pray i pray that one of the two of y'all man because 12 years is a long time man i hate to i hate to I mean, you can only beg and plead and, and, and be for hope for so long until you just have to say anything else. It's just, you know, I understand, man. You want to take somebody who doesn't want to be fixed? I get it. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to get out of your hair, man. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you inviting us into your home, man. Anytime. And um, Thank you. let us know what else we can do to help you, okay. man. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night.